<laughs> okay. Um, how do I play to? How do I play as a serious player? I'm gonna go e4 here. I don't even know if I should take play bishop g2, knight c3. I'm gonna go knight c3. Let's see. Go here. So actually, I'm probably justifying his opening. By the way, that's what's funny about this. I'll go here and try to trade some bishops. He can play g4, but I'll go back. I've actually justified his opening for some stupid reason. I don't even know why I've done this. I don't like my opening at all here. Plays h5. I think I'm going to go h3, try to trade some pieces off here, maybe. Oh, it goes h4. Whoa. Takes. Oh, could he have taken and maybe he could have actually taken twice. Um, could go f3 g4. I, I don't, I don't like what I'm doing at all. But whatever, who cares? You just play chess and hope that it works out. That's the the obvious uh, grandmaster approach. Just do whatever, hope it works out. If it doesn't, that's just life. So be it. Of course, g4 is terrible. I should have gone f4 f5. Obviously. Yeah, th this game I'm playing very poorly as well. Maybe it's not so bad though. He goes, now he's gonna try to trade the bishops too. It's turning into a bit of a comedy show this game. Um, don't actually know what the heck is going on. I mean, what is going on in this game? I'm a little confused. I don't want to trade the bishops. I'm just gonna go here and take with the queen maybe. Go like queen g5 maybe. I expected that. Um, I don't know what I'm doing in this game. Playing this horribly go here I think I'm gonna go c4 and if he takes I'll take with the pawn and play like knight f2 maybe rook d1 I don't really like it but I think it's okay I have d4 here as well and queen a3 I kind of expected but I thought I had like some tricks with like maybe knight g5 to hit the bishop of course I also am moving too fast like I should be using my time here not just blitzing out these moves because we both have two minutes on the clock and this is not an easy position to play. That, I think, is a mistake. So, Queen C1, though. He missed Queen C1, and now I think I'm actually going to win the game. Maybe winning is too strong. So, you can trade, go Bishop E6 back. It's not like it's losing or anything. It should just be a little bit better from. Well, maybe not, because he's got Knight G6, too. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, he goes F6. I did not expect that one. Um actually a pretty good move I'll go back probably run my king to the center try to play d4 at some point colon what thank you Matthew Wicker for this oh that's a smiley face thank you for seven month resub it goes there I expect that. I can play d4 if I want to I mean at some point I also might try to play f4 Hard to judge. Um, this pawn on h4 is pretty solidly, solidly placed. I mean, d4 is in the spirit of the position, but it's also risky. But if, if I draw, I get nothing. So, I mean, yeah, if I, if I don't play d4, then what am I actually playing for? It's kind of the attitude I should have. That, that's sort of my attitude. Like, it, it, I mean, if I'm not taking risks here to try and win the game, then what am I even playing for? Because the draw gets me literally $0. Yeah, so now I go C4. And Knight, C, Knight B3. I mean, I don't know if I'm actually better, but I feel like I should be maybe a little bit better because I, I now have a ton of space in the center. He does have a good Knight guarding the pawn, and it can jump to F4. But I feel like I should be a little bit better here with this uh, nice little pawn center. Who is Magnus playing, by the way? He's got a bad tiebreaker, so I guess we'll see. Um, and I have knight b3, which I think is a good move. Knight d3 was also... Ah, uh, knight d3 might have made more sense. Okay, it goes there. So, okay, let's go... I guess I'll play bishop d3. Don't know if it does anything, but it makes sense. Maybe rook c1 and c5 incoming. We'll go rook c1. This knight on g6 looks very iffy here, by the way. Um, the question is, do I have c5? I might have it, but I'm just going to play it slow with king e3. Maybe I'll go rook c2 here. Rook c2, maybe rook b1. 
Whoa, he actually took. I did not expect that, actually. Um. Yeah, I did not expect him to trade, because I thought that now I get, like, knight f2 or something in knight e4. He does have f5, I guess. Probably I should have used a little bit more time before blitzing this, but... There might even be King E4 with, like, the Bong Cloud idea. <sighs> Hard to judge. Takes with a Bishop, not what I expected. Uh, can I play the Bong Cloud and grab a Juicer is a big question. I can. Is it good? Unclear. Um, I mean, I don't know if it's... I, I don't know if it's good, but I'm up on time, so this is where I should use my time and think. But also, Rook H... No, Rook H1, Bishop D3 is stupid. Knight e4, bishop e4 is probably okay. Can I play for more there? Iffy. I'm gonna go for it. I mean, I, I don't know if this works, but I'm gonna go for it. Uh... Here, maybe? And king d4, king d3 is my idea. Here. Have to make sure I don't hang something to D's knights. Now I can go rook h2. And now I've got c5 also. I should be winning here if I'm precise. But let's see if I can actually be precise. Here, I guess. Am I blundering something? Ah, uh, still very tricky. Um, I mean, the knights are jumpy for... I'll go here. I can't tell whose knights are better, basically. Oh, I fork him. I made him with these knights. Look at these knights. That's one of the weirdest mates you'll ever see. Look at these knights. Look at these knights. That's a beautiful one, actually. Yeah. Oh, Magus won. Oh, great. Magus won, so I'm going to get third. Yikes. All right. Let's play some Blitz. Let's get going. Let's play some Blitz. Get my rating back up. And let's adopt some people and put together a big streak. All right. Let's play F4. Let's go Knight F3. Very, very disappointing. Yeah. I'm, I'm not I'm not thrilled. Very disappointing. But it is what it is. Yeah. So... Yeah. Let's go here. Just castle. Uh, let's go F5 and trade. I guess why not? Takes. I'll play D3. Maybe Bishop G5. Maybe Knight G5. Maybe Queen E1. Could have also taken on f5 too. Yeah. Let's go here. Maybe queen h4. Thanks for the WGM Atusa for the raid with 28. Thanks so much for the raid. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much to Deep Starfield for the Prime as well. Thank you so much to GM Smurfette for the two months. Appreciate it. Okay, let's go. Queen h4. We're in the mode to try and adopt some players. Fix the scene of the board. Oh, is the board wrong on this scene? The board's wrong on this scene. Why is it wrong on this scene? Oh, annoying. Okay, there we go. There we go. Um, oh, should be about right. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, there we go. All right. Um, I don't know what D5 does. I guess I just take. That looks like a bad move to me. Knight D4. Let's go here. Target the horsey. Neither with Turbo Wars for Prime. The guy you're playing is 15 exactly, so I want to farm him. Exactly. He has one win against me, right? He's got one win, and or he's got two wins, and, and is that three or five? That's 59 losses. Very interesting stats, right? Very interesting. Um, yeah. If F6, I have D6 fossilizing him. 
And otherwise, I think I just go here and take and just the fossil is impossible. Fossil combined with the pin is too much to deal with. So I should win this game pretty soon. Goal is to get an adoption at least, maybe a little bit more. We do have a Kramnik game, right? I should change the title of Farming Simulator. Uh, now I line up the legendary double stack as well as the pin, and it's just collapsing. Okay, let's go one up. 13 more to go. Let's play G6. Maybe just like Bishop G7, D6, etc. 59 out of 61, interesting. Must be cheating, yeah. This this guy's like 2,400. But I did lose him. I And the way I lost him was a mouse slip. It was very sad. The way I lost this kid, I, I remember it was like it was like a Karl Khan, and he, he, I was expecting him to take a pawn, and he played end peasant, and I hung a piece. Like, it was very sad. I'm not going to lie. Um, it shows Magus in first place. He was not the winner. He's going to go E3, and then I go like Knight F6, probably. Um... Yeah, I, I fell fell into end peasant. Uh, I guess I'll go here, threaten to fork him. Forking, of course, is what you're aim. Uh, I have rook a three, but I don't believe in it, so I'm just gonna go knight f six, knight e four. I guess. I mean, so if I take take check here, takes he goes bishop d three, collects the rook, and I resign or the knight, and I resign the game. This guy is fm axel boo, like axel rose or something. Was it was he named after? He probably was named after axel rose. Just a guess. Um, I'm going to go D5. Here's take away the C4. Jump to target the juicer. And now I'm going to move my... Eh, can, eh, eh, eh. I don't know where I go. Let's castle. He is 15 years old. Yes, correct. Axel Rose is an awful singer in real life. <laughs> Uh, does Hikaru not play strong dudes anymore? Of course I do. Um, but sometimes when you're not playing great chess, you'd rather play weak players and try to try to boost your rating. You know, 21 Khalil for the uh, for the two-month resub. Yes, thank you so much. By the way, once again, for those of you guys who are not here earlier, if you do have Amazon Prime, connect your Amazon Prime to Twitch Prime for free. Spend $0, take 5 bucks out of that Am out of that monthly Amazon Prime subscription and give it to your favorite streamer. That would be me, of course. It costs zero dollars. All you're doing is taking 60 bucks annually away from Jeff Bezos, who's worth way too much. Even with Amazon down something, it's not down enough today. Um, even with the even with tech getting killed, he's still worth way too much money. So make sure you take money away from Jeff and give it to your favorite hardworking streamer. It is 149.65. I'll be happy when it's down at 140. Um, Okay, he plays knight c3 now. I could trade and go bishop f5, followed by rook c8, pressure the pawn on c3. Also, those of you guys who are looking at subbing regularly or gifting subs, it is 25% off today. Last day where you get 25% off your subs, so make sure that you do um, you do sub to your favorite channel today. Um, I'm going to go rook a8 and rook a2 here. Bezos might need money for what? For his uh, for his uh, wedding? Uh, he needs money for that, that, that like five gazillion dollar wedding, apparently. Thank you to Biofill for the three. Thank you to Matt, Matt, Matt Tin Royal for the two. Thank you to New Fresh Potato for the Prime Tuna Raider. Thank you so much to Hardrin for the Prime as well. Appreciate it. Um, let's go here and hit the knight. Oh, Bishop A4, Bishop D5, Rook B2, Knight C4, Rook B5, Rook A1, Rook D5, Rook A4, B5, Rook A8. No, okay. Um... Bishop a4, bishop d5. I mean, I now nah, just play e6. Keep it simple here. Thank you so much to Ahmad Chess Kid for the two month reset. Thank you so much to Ahmad Chess Kid. It's 25% today, right? Today's the last day it exists, I believe. Uh, let's hit the tower. Now let's go here. Lock the knight in jail. I want to lock it up here with b5. I got the two b's. Let's go check. Let's go here. Take the juicer on f2 and win the game. Oopsies oopsies and now i will just play g5 fix the juicer so that i can attack this one let's go b5 i have a nice little wooden shield here as well let's go here hit the bishop did maxine beat me no i lost to jeffrey jean fairly early in the event i drew Ra uh was it rasmus or frederick i drew one of the one of the german brothers um and i drew uh who else did I draw? I drew someone else at the end. I forget who. I drew someone else. Oh, it ended 20 minutes ago? Oh, it ended. Oh, very sad. My bad. Apologies. Disclaimer. 
Um, oh, I drew Sh I drew Shaquille O'Neal as well. Yeah, I forgot that I drew Shaquille. Shaquille's still a formidable force, even though he's like 50 now. Go knight h4. Hit the bishop on g6. I can trade it off at some point. I will, of course, trade. I never knew you were a painter. I love painting, actually. I do. No, no jokes aside, I do. When, when I retire from streaming alongside chess, I probably will do something related to painting. Uh, I'm in a castle here. Take. Let's go f4. Painting stream? No, I mean... Actually, you're right. When, when I retire from chess and I, I more or less retire from streaming, that's what I'll do. I'll basically... My channel will become... It, it, I'll be like... I'll be the new Bob Ross. I'll just be streaming my painting. Um, yeah, th that'll be fun, actually. Let me see. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, you guys. Let's take... Oh. Okay. Um, let's just go for it with that five. I mean, he's got knight of four, I guess. Sorry about that. Apologies. He takes. I mean, I can take with a pawn here. I mean, the question is, do I tickle him with rookie one or do I go queen g4 first? My, or do I take this? Uh, probably not right. Let's just... Do I tickle... Yeah, I think I tickle him first with rookie one. I tickle, tickle, and then I go queen g4. Although I might have misplayed this a little bit. Let's go queen g4. Why did I do that? Actually, I should have just played queen g4 right away. Um, I mean, I got a block. But now, yeah, I've just... I've completely messed this up. Basically, I forgot that the rook was no longer on f1 to hit the knight, so we didn't have to trade it. This is bad. Um, go c4, c5, maybe. I'm going to go for it. He's going to have to take, I guess. So he does. Thanks so much to Lenaro for the seven months. Actually, that was a mistake. I think Rook G5 and Knight G291 was winning, but he missed it. So all's well that ends well, as they say. Um, uh, what do I do here exactly, though? I mean, I guess I go here, maybe? I mean, pretty ugly, though. Pretty ugly. Just got to dodge this Rook G5 here. Think of Marine Buckeye for the Tier 1. Let's go here, I guess. It's got Knight H5 or something, but... This might be really ugly. I might just be losing, actually. I should have gone king. Why didn't I go king up? Well, he had rook up five, I guess. Okay. I mean, I have c5 here. Bishop c3 to hit the queen. I think I got really, really lucky. Take. I mean, I'm still in a world of trouble, but go b5. If I get him a little bit lower on time, I can win. Okay, let's go, I guess, here. Oh, I've got this and this. Okay, we're back in business, mate. Maybe, maybe not. It's still maybe bad. Let's see. It's pretty ugly. Problem with playing someone like this is even though his rating is very low and he's not, I mean, not at the same level, he is a kid. So, like, as I play him over time, he is going to get better and better. That's actually the big issue here with playing this kid. Um, how do I do this? Actually, I might just still be losing. Or do I have B3, maybe? Yeah, let's go Rook B3. Hey, was Santos, dude, for the 13th. Hey, Zenix for the Prime. Appreciate it. Thank you. I take. The future is now, indeed, I agree. I'm still not winning, but he's so low on time that I'm probably going to win. <sighs> so bad. My knight is horrible. Yeah, he's got that, and... Um, how do I do this? I think I'm going to play something silly here. I think I'm going to sack a piece. I'm trying to win the game on time now, basically. Q4. 
here. His knight is a little bit iffy here. Um, okay, let's go for the tickle tickle. There. Okay, now I'll go here. Okay, I think I run the king up. Yeah, he's just got no time. I mean, I'm just going to win the game. There we go. Good stuff. Let's go again. Three up three down there. Ter terrible bad for 12 months. Cramnick, the future is yesterday. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Let's go G6 here. Keep it the same. That was minus four. I mean, I was completely busted. I was cooked hard, but um, but just because you're cooked doesn't mean you will be cooked. Not that that makes any sense, but whatever. Um, let's go knight D7 and B6 here. Uh, I'm playing plus one, yeah, because I want to start a new streak. That should be very interesting. Let's go here and bishop B7. I don't understand. Let's just play h6. Why not? Queen c7. Maybe rook c8. Maybe e5 here. Let's go here. It makes sense. I don't think it makes sense. Sometimes you're getting cooked, but then you don't get cooked. That's like when that's when you have a chicken. So if, if I'm if I'm cooking, you know, I'm I'm cooking with my my air fryer. I'm cooking chicken. It's getting cooked. It doesn't become uncooked again. So it, it's kind of not. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Let's play e6 here. I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Okay, let's go here. Let's build a big black center. How are you still playing? Other players are talking. What do you mean? I can take and play rookie eight. Not sure what you mean by that, but cool story, bro. Now I do have rookie eight right away. I can also trade, but takes, takes. Okay, let's think about this. Takes. Oh no, it's just not 95, uh, F5, 96 doesn't work. No, I think I'm going to go for chaos. Hmm. No, I think I'm going to take this way and play rookie eight. Yeah. Let's go rookie eight. Does anyone name the air fryer? Am I weird? I don't know what you mean by that. Oh, they probably thought it was like title Tuesday. Yeah, you guys, we're not playing Tilted Tuesday right now. We're just playing casual blitz. It's not Tilted Tuesday. In Tilted Tuesday, yes, you have to play an emote only. He hangs a juicer. I'll take it. I'll drop back. Um, That's a free juicer. I've got two Bs as well. Uno, dos, two Bs. Just like the beekeeper, right? Um, takes and takes. <clears throat> okay, goes knight c4. Can obviously trade. Why not? Go here. Title Tuesday was fine. I mean, I played well, but the problem is the event is too too freaking strong now. So it's it's just a nightmare to play. Go here, target the juicer. I've got queen b7 with a classic patented right triangle as well. So I should be winning. Yeah, I mean, Title Tuesday is great. It's just too strong. Like, I, I love Title Tuesday, but the event is becoming ridiculously strong. Which is, which is good and bad. Like, it's nice because it's good to play against the best players in the world, but it sucks because it makes winning so much harder. Oh, can I sack the queen? Yeah, baby. We, we fork the king and the queen. Um, and that should be GG. So, yeah, GG. Mm. Okay, let's go knight f3. We're four fourteenths of the way there. Ten more to go. Go here, e3, c4, all the usuals. He didn't have to take, but if he does, if he takes knight, he loses the rook. If he doesn't take the queen, then he loses. I mean, it's just down a juicer, so yeah. 100 bucks for fifth place kind of ridiculous. Well, Title Tuesday has become a ridiculous event, period. I mean, it is so freaking strong that it's not even funny anymore. Okay, so he's going for the stupid 96 again. Um, mm. I don't know if this is good, actually. Not sure, but I'll take. What even is a juicer? I believe there's a phrase from Felix Longjell that the juice is whatever you want it to be, basically. Stop bullying. 
This is chess, you guys. It's chess. And as kid is 16, I'll be honest. The fact that he's playing against me is going to benefit him tremendously down the road. He's basically getting free lessons. Um, he's basically getting free lessons. That's what he's getting. He's getting free lessons. And he's not even having to spend money. Like, it's not like I'm cramming or somebody where I'm charging like a thousand bucks an hour for my, my really sage advice. So, no, I mean, what are you talking about? He should be really happy. He's getting, he's getting free lessons. He's getting free lessons. Let's play rook b1 here, maybe queen a4. Yeah. Like, like why, why is it bullying when he's the one who benefits? It reminds me a lot of the famous God Kamsky, by the way. God Kamsky, I remember when I was young, when I was younger, not super young. Um, he and I were playing a lot of Blitz on the internet, internet chess club. And at some point he was saying, he's like, why am I playing Blitz? All I'm doing is giving these kids free lessons. He, he basically said the exact same thing. So yeah, I don't know what, what y'all be talking about, but um, yeah. Okay, he goes A6. I can play D5 here. I really want to sack some materials. Um, I mean, I can go for the double stack. Why not? Life is too short to not not enjoy the Wendy's double stack. Let's play Rook B3 and Rook B1. This looks very dangerous for, for Black. I mean, Rook B1's incoming. All kinds of big threats on the Queen side. Wendy's is sickening. I actually watched a video the the other day. Was it yesterday or the day before about um it was about um what's his name? It was about uh Connor. Connor Con C or C W Dog and um it was about him and uh and Ludwig and they, it basically was C, C Dog was being forced to eat like Taco Bell. Um and like I, I I was thinking like Wendy's Taco Bell, all this stuff, like it's as good as it gets. Yeah, it's really, really as good as it gets. It was ninety four now. I can sack the rook with rook b7. I mean, d5 is not a move. c5 is actually very dangerous, I think, here. Although, you can maybe sack. Why do I feel like I should be winning here somehow? I don't see the win, unfortunately. I mean, knight e4 is a surprisingly annoying move, actually, now that I think about it. All right, whatever. Let's just go c5. He can obviously sack. He doesn't. I can take, take. I mean... Oh, wait. I actually don't have a win. That, what the heck? Where's my win? I don't actually... Maybe I... Eh. I don't want to do this, but I think I, I actually need to overload it even more on the queen side. Like, I just need to really overpower him. I mean, I'm looking for a way to sack material, but I don't see a way to break through. Queen c6, he just takes the bishop covers the square. So not, not really sure what I'm doing, but we just keep rolling. Why is Moderna up 15% today? All right. Um, pressuring the pawn on C6. Play the London one in London, yes. Goes King D. I mean, I really want to sack here, but I don't think I have a win. Uh, actually, if I take, take... It's also Rook H3, but... I don't know. I think this is playable. Maybe not, but I think it's playable. Let's go... Oh, wait. No, let's go check. Let's take... It's taken. I mean, his king is completely naked, and it should just be winning. Okay, this should just be a forced win. Um, maybe queen b3. Ah, maybe knight e5. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go knight e5 here, and just queen a5. Okay, but I just take and now let's go check, and we just hit him with queen d8, rook e8, checkmate. Next game, let's go nine more. Seattle was great burger places like Kid Valley. When I was in Seattle years ago, the place I would always go to was, uh, I think it was Dick's, right? Is it Dick's where they had the drive-in? That was some nasty, that was some nasty stuff. And I would, uh, I would get it at like 11 p.m. usually when I, when I was, when I was going getting it. Play H5, yeah. No, 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 it, it, it's, it's okay, but it's not, yeah, you, oh, I shouldn't have said that because now everyone's going to, okay, everyone's going to take it in the wrong direction. <laughs> Good God, I forget this is the internet. Nobody has any any ability to act like a human. Um, let's go C5. Yeah, I, I forget this is the internet. Nobody knows how to act like a mature adult. Um, let's take the pawn. Let's go here. Let's 
Um, I think I'm going to put the knight on c6. I could have put it on f6, like, but I think e7, c6 looks like the right trajectory for the knight. Mm, let's go here. Maybe knight c6. I mean, I like my position objectively. We are all sub-18. What do you expect? Okay. No, I'm annoyed about Moderna because I was looking last week at what to buy, and I ended up buying Pfizer and not Moderna. I was looking at both of them, and I bought Pfizer, which I guess is still okay, but it's up nowhere near as much. Yeah, I mean, I'm up like probably eight, eight, eight and a half percent on on Pfizer, but still, Moderna is up like 25 percent in that same period, so not very happy about it. Um, let's go here. Put the knight on c6. I mean, I maybe have f6 somewhere, maybe queen e7. Yeah. I'm down a ton with Pfizer. I mean, I'm looking at stuff to buy. Like, I, I I bought actually quite a few stocks this morning. Like, I bought Verizon. I bought another another dividend stock. Um, sold some bio. Have a feeling that I have a feeling that um that this might be the year that finally stuff that's not tech actually outperforms. I don't know what this what what is this? What the heck is? Wait a second, I gotta think, because if I take, and I I should be winning, but it's exactly the sort of, sort of kind of cheese that I could lose in. Whatever, I don't believe him. Let's go here. I'm just gonna castle. I, I don't, he's just down a piece for nothing. I have a feeling this is the year that tech will actually, everything else will do better than tech. But we'll see. We shall see. Now, I can obviously castle, which I should, of course. I mean, unless he has a miracle move here, he's just cooked. Um... Although, yeah, this isn't super wonderful, actually, now that I look at it. It's not super wonderful in my position. I still should be better. Actually, I should be... What? Oh, did I just put a D6? Oh, good God, I did. Wait, I've got F6, maybe. So let's go F6. Typical. Now I'm, now I'm deciding to play chess like Magnus. It's like I play a great game, then I play one move, I miss something, but there's always some silly resource because the accumulation of the good moves over the course of the game outweighs the one mistake. Let's see what we got here. Imagine thinking you're good at the stock market. I think it's Siege Warfare. Last I checked, I, I had a fabulous 2023. It's always great when you get a 1600% return on your biggest holding. So I'm really not in the mood to hear it. I'll flex all I want. Um, so let's see. Let's keep going. Be there. Let's go Knight F3. Let's go E4, D4 here. Yeah, I bought a stock in 2018 for at about two dollars, and it got it got bought out at forty dollars. And I, I I bought a good chunk, and yeah, about like half a year ago, it got got bought out at uh, forty. It's pretty good to buy a stock around two bucks and have it bought out at forty. Not gonna complain. Uh, it goes knight c6. I can play d5 here. I could also go e5. I think e5 is decent, so I'm gonna play it anyway. Let's take. Oh, did I blunder this somehow? I might have. Whatever. Let's just play H. I just don't care enough. Um, yeah. Not financial advice. Yeah. Let's take and play 92. Uh, proof? Oh, I could tell you the stock, actually, because it doesn't exist anymore. But when I bought it, it actually had a different ticker. When I bought it, the ticker was OPHT, and then it changed to ISEE. So, yeah. And it was actually a tilt buy, because I, I, I said the story before, but I bought it because... Um, I bought it because that, that that same night I, I lost a terrible game in the Isle of Man to Arcadi Nidich in a Spanish. It was October 2018. Um, it was October 2018, and so I was very unhappy with my chest, so I just decided to to tilt, and um, yeah, it worked out very well. Because take with a pawn, knight d4, I'll just trade and play rookie one, and then knight d2, knight f3. All right, I'm gonna play knight d2, knight f3. I should be better if take takes bishop h6. I'm in very very good shape. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go knight d2, knight f3. Should be a very pleasant position. I should be a little bit better here. Queen d8. I can play rook d1. He's trying to go bishop e6, which actually is pretty good, good, good setup. Um, I'll go here. Maybe knight d4. Trying to stop him from getting the piece to e6, basically. Um, but let's see what he does. I can always trade. I guess I'll trade with the knight trade. Yeah, we're gonna get the standard position. Let's play f4 here.
La 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 la. la. Okay, I'm gonna go H4, and we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you guys exactly why this Bishop on G7 is dead for the rest of the game. This Bishop on G7 is completely dead. Great song selection. Thank you. Appreciate it. Now, of course, just to demonstrate why, you guys, this bishop is asleep for the rest of the game because it cannot be developed and it's walled in by this pawn formation. So black here is playing with a dead bishop. So the, the thing here, I can go g4, g5 if I want to. I don't know if I should. I think I will, though. Why not? If he plays h5, I go g5. The bishop's dead forever. He goes there. He's trying to play h6, so now... I mean, I kind of didn't want to do this, but I think it still should be great. Now I just bring the king over, play a4. Eventually, I should be winning here. Let's go here. Yeah, now, I mean, he's basically playing without pieces here. Let's go c4, kick the rook back. Now, the real question here is how do I win the game? I mean... I can obviously chill till the end of time, which is what kind of what I'm going to do here. Yeah, now we're going to go b5 and break through. And again, his king is very sad on e8, just a very sad king. I could have maybe waited till his king was on f7. Um, now, big question is, do I take with the a pawn or the c pawn? I think I take with the a pawn because his rook is also dead. His rook has no squares available either. The rook is dead. Good check. Let's go here, maybe. Actually, I'll go here and I'll set it up. Um, go here. Go here. I'm going to walk the king over, actually. This is the way to do it. This bishop is just dead forever. Thank you so much to Erdison for the prime. Let's just keep chilling. Uh, let's keep chilling. And now I'm going to push the P, walk the king up. And slowly but surely, I'm winning the game. There's just nothing you can do. I'm just going to slowly walk the king all the way up, win the pawn, and win the game. Okay, let's go here, I guess. Go here. I think rook d8 wins, by the way. Yeah, let's go here. Force the rooks off the board. Let's go here, and he loses. Look at the sad bishop. I just push P and win the game. Things with Puke Skywalker for the five floppy Phoenix and you've fallen deep. Keep going. Halfway there. Where is Ding these days? He is Ding Chilling. Ding Chilling um, in China. Let's play D6 and Nike 7 Knight F6. La, 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 la. I'll go C5 here. Knight C6, Knight 7 Knight 5 Let's go here. Let's go here. Probably just Castle. You can play h6, just attack the bishop. Let's go knight h5 to stop bishop g3. I guess I'll play g5 anyway and just take. Let's go b6. Oh, he's got this, which, eh, I kind of miss value. It's just like this knight e3. I mean, I hold the square, so it's probably fine, but I don't love the position. Yeah, I don't, I don't like my position. I'm going to start to trade pieces here, I guess. Trade. That was a mistake, by the way. I should not have traded like this, but whatever. Oh, do I have knight d4, maybe? Oh, do I have knight d4? I don't know. Let's play rook d8. Ah, do I have knight d4? I feel like there's something. I'm sort of feeling the je ne sais quoi, but I don't know how to make it work. Ah, uh, I feel like there's something here. Snakes. F3. F5, bishop d3, g4. I mean, I'm going to go for it. It's a little bit risky, but I'm going to go for it. The the what? The genie sait quoi? No, it's called the je ne sais quoi. Of course, it's no good, but I'll make it work. Yeah. Things which uh, read Dursa Luna for the tier one. Do I think Ding will get smoked? Well, this I saw, but now I go F5, and I mean, there's a lot of chaos here. This is what I wasn't sure about. Don't I have G4 now, and he just loses materials? He's overloaded because of the classic Connect 3. And look at the two Bs. They're very, very powerful here. Just take. 
Oh my God, you're still playing against this weak players. OMG, OMG. Um, yeah, OMG, I know. Tell me about it, OMG. Wait, I gotta be careful how I do this though, because I am better, but I have to make sure I don't mess this up. For some reason, I feel like Queen 6 is good. I also like C4, I also like Rook D4. I also like E H5, I also like just about everything here. Um, I think I'll go here to hit the Bishop, maybe. Wait, can't I just take? Yeah, now the two Bs just win the game. Yeah, GG. I think it's almost a Renia K for the prime. Their name is Burak. Huh? This should be two. I still take the queen. No, I resign. It's okay. Let's keep going. Let's play Knight F3. How do you feel about the fact that Magnus made a 960 super turn but failed to invite the world championship 960? Eh, it is what it is. Not, not, not a big deal. play e3 c4 there were there were quite a few things that i didn't like about the turn but actually more than me the bigger question is why was wesley so not invited that's actually the bigger question maybe he was but i don't think wesley so was invited and i think that's actually that's much more of a uh that's much more of a question than than me because wesley smoked magnus and basically essentially magnus is in charge of everything in relation to the tournament and wesley was not wesley i don't think was invited so that's I mean, a little bit shaky. I'm not gonna lie. It's 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 a little bit shaky. It's it's far more of a question than me than me not playing. Yeah, Nihal is adopting Hans. Yeah, I answered my own question. Okay. Why am I still playing with the same opponent? Because I can. I can. That's why. We we might do a view arena shortly. Um. What else is there? We're going to have to review Magnus versus Kramnik because Magnus beat him. Uh, we'll do our classic YouTube video so you guys get ready for my YouTube intros and my, my great voice. And for today's video, we have Magnus Carlsen against the former world chess champion Vladimir Kramnik from Russia. Um, and let's play E4 and take here. And take. Signature intro. Yes, exactly. Let's play H4, G3. I don't know why I'm doing this, by the way. It's kind of stupid. Um, let's start pushing P. I'm feeling a little bit cocky. Not to be confused with certain other cocky word. Um, I can play G5. I think I will. Why not? Let's trade. I'm probably going to play D5 at some point. Um, let's just go here. Maybe Rook H1, Queen H4, something like this. Um, I think it's over to Ilzena for the raid with 13. Okay, now I'm going all in for the kill. I intend to checkmate on the on the king side with the classic setup. It's starting to look very dangerous. Also, Queen H4 with a double stack. Well, my opponent's probably still okay here, but I don't think he's going to survive. He's probably still okay, objectively, but there's going to be something bad happening. Something, like, really bad happening on the king's side here. And that's also why I put the bishop on b2. Because now... Oh! I could have taken... Oh, I could have played queen e5. Oh. Oh, I could have gone queen e5 and beaten him with the classic pyramid of Jesus. Oh, that's so bad by me. But I, I, I went bishop b2 because now I have queen h7. And I can hit him with bishop a3 on the other reverse diagonal. Yeah, I think it was with Ilzena, though, for the raid with 13. I missed a pyramid of Gs, I know. Yeah, I mean, rookie 2 looks good to hit the pawn. I still have queen h7, queen g7, by the way, but I now now I want to go for something else. I mean, does this... Wait, bishop e... Wait, knight e, does knight e5 actually win the game here? Let me think for a second. Knight e5, rookie 5, rookie 5, bishop e5, queen h8. Knight e5, bishop e5, whatever, let's just go for it. Because queen h7 and queen h8 both exist here. And we have we have a huge right triangle lurk looming on the board in this position. Yeah, maybe knight e5. I mean, I think knight e5 is knight e5 queen h7 combos have worked for a long time. Hikaru, tell chess.com to buy a better server. That's not on me. That's on Magnus Carlsen. Um, Magnus, I believe, is a shareholder in chess.com. Um, so uh, go go ask Magnus. That's not my, my, my issue. Um, knight takes e5. So let's see what he does. Plays queen b7. Now I can play f3. I don't know if it's best, but I'm gonna do it. I'm a little worried about f3 just because, again, there's a check on e2. But wait, if I ch wait, how do I win here? I feel like there's a way to win. Knight d7, maybe? Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait a second. I could go king g3 and line up the triple stack. Let's just do it just because I can. I'm gonna set up the triple stack. Or wait, yeah, let's go f4. Overprotect the knight, and I'm going to go for the triple stack checkmate. I'm going to mate him here. Let's go. Oh, wait, he can run the king, though. 
Okay, maybe I gotta stop being so cocky. Let's go check and check. I mean, he's also got no time. Um, unfortunately, I don't have an easy way to win, so I'll just play rookie one. Um, take with the rook here. I mean, maybe I'll just take with the rook. If he takes, I'm mating him on h8. If he doesn't, I'm mating him on e8 with the double stack. Nah, it should just be GG. Go here, I guess. Basically, rookie eight is too strong, so he resigns. Here we go. Five more. Did I just see a GM lose in 13 moves in the world? Blitz, we're covering that live. We were. Yeah, play some Fortnite. No, we're playing chess, you guys. You might not have heard about chess, but it's this great ancient game that's been around for about like. 2,500 year or not 2,500. It's been around for what, like 1,600, 1,700 years. I want to get to 3,250. That's my goal. Play D5. Have I ever had triple stack pancakes? Is that from like uh, eHop or something? Triple stack pancakes. I haven't. Yeah, you guys got to inform me. What are triple? Um, let's go F6. Hit the knight. Take. He can check on E2 when we play an endgame. I'm not really worried about it. This castle. It's from IHOP? Okay. But now I can tickle him with check. And now I've got Bishop G4 too, maybe. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, I feel like bad stuff's happening. Knight F5? Maybe not. I thought he was going to F3 allowing Knight F5. I want Knight F3, but it's still terrible. It's also Knight D4 here. Oh, he's got Knight F4, which I actually didn't see. So... Let's play it like Le Bon Cloud with King F7. Why not? Just guard the pawn on G6 manually. Um, okay, I see his ID. He wants to go Queen C2. So I think I need to go here right away and pressure the horsey. Just there. Okay, let's go here. Hit the horsey. Again. Should be okay for me. Goes G3. Okay, now I'll play Knight D7. How do I not have a tactic here? Wait, I feel like there should be a tactic. Am I miss what? what? Wait, uh, knight f4. Wait, what? Knight h4. Bishop f3, king f3, rookie one. Or do I take? No, no, I think I take first. Trade. Still very tricky. Or uh, wait, do I? No, maybe I. Take here. Now I take, and I think I just go f5, and I should be winning again. Bermuda. Mama, come on, pretty mama. Lago, Montego. Thanks for the academy for the 41 months. Um, Phil's weird you're not the highest rated blitz player. Well, there are a couple things that I do that are, make it very difficult. First and foremost, I play Arena Kings for content, which is a big mistake. If I actually cared about keeping my rating at its, at its optimal uh, level, I would never play Arena Kings. Because Arena Kings is just a way to lose points. I mean, easy way to lose points. Like, not even close. Um, I assume this is winning, but I'm not sure. I'm going to go here and then take, take. Why did I do this? Oh, why did I do this? I messed this up uh, in a bigly way. Well, okay, if he's going to do that, then, I mean, this end game should be winning for me. I have an outside pawn here. Yeah, I mean, because in Arena Kings, I play for two hours against players who are weaker than me, but unless I'm, like, absolutely like smoking it they're going to uh they're going to draw enough against me to where i lose points that's what it's that's what it, that's what it's all about um let's play here and now i'm just going to slowly bring my king back around i can hook him with bishop f2 g3 at the right moment put the pawn on a light square and now we'll just bring the bishop back Here, pressure the pawn, of course. So let's go here. 
just want to go bishop g3 basically at the end let's go here and here thank you so much to uh, i'm a dragon for the prime thank you so much okay four to go let's keep going play knight f3 do I know what wilder is um no I don't know what wilder is was that like gr wilder is that like grinder or something else ends dr I mean what I, I have no idea what is wilder it's castle and play e5 anyway yeah I've never heard of it um uh, sorry am I missing something I don't know maybe I'm missing something why do I feel like I'm missing something it's a sponsor of a niche with a name like that good God okay no I'm trying to think of sites that ha have DR like why do why are there sites that have DR I'm trying to think of sites that have DR in them like yeah I, I just I don't know DR what other sites have DR in them it's just that's what it reminds me of I don't know all right let's go H3 and takes again same line Chesser maybe it's a new social media app okay sounds like that's gonna have great success not um let's go Bishop d3 uh maybe I should have gone Bishop d3 because yeah I guess f6 let's go here and take this Bishop f5 very reasonable move I don't know why I did this um go here and take with pawn not a huge fan oh there's tinder yeah but tinder is spelled correctly right tinder is spelled correctly it's it's t-i-n-d-e-r there's it's not this dr nonsense ruining the english language um now i've got a great center um i guess i'll go here and rook c1 don't even know if this is best but it makes sense tinder is not t-i-n-d-r it's t-i-n-d-e-r there goes your potential sponsor yeah i would never want to be sponsored by a site with a name like that um go here me reroute the knight to d3 I'm gonna reroute my knight to d3 maybe f4 as well actually now there's this to really soften the pawn on c6 thank you a lot on new for the 23 will you um will you uh leave for a kick or will you continue to do a stream I mean I think people know I have a contract with kick that's actually ending fairly soon so we'll see what happens as far as that goes um no idea right now what the situation is my best guess is I'll probably continue streaming on both platforms so that's my best guess right now um that's just a free pawn let's take it yeah that, that, that's my best guess it's been pretty close to a year I started at the uh I think middle it was the middle of March so it's been quite a while um that's just another free pawn that I'll take why not go a3 kick the horse anyone who's talking about chess.com being down chess.com has been absolutely horrible today so uh if it's down I mean I I guess I would apologize so I guess I would apologize I mean I shouldn't apologize it's not my fault but I feel bad for those of you guys who are just here to play chess casually and you go on chess.com and you see you see a ridiculous picture of Danny wrench and um and you can't log in you're just like what the heck is this nonsense um yeah So, all right um I could play Queen c5 I mean 90 uh right, let's just get the Queens off the board I mean we we don't we don't want any Queens in our life um maybe I'll just go 92 94 somewhere should be very very good thank you to AKD for the 36 month reset thank you so much to AKD um okay I mean Rook b6 wins it's not the cleanest way to win but it's good enough the Danny gift is ridiculous yes exactly um okay I could play b4 I can also go g4 knight c3 I mean all roads lead to uh all roads lead to Rome here so let's just stick with the basics play the Evans Gambit of course I could um let's just go here hit the pawn I mean all, all roads lead to Rome we don't want any Queens in our lives Andrew statement someone said that he was talking about chess in a recent podcast I don't I don't know if that's true or not but someone was saying that he was talking about it take uh let's just go here oh why did I do this stupid um still winning I'm just winning yeah okay we have three more to go 
Three more. Oh, uh, he keeps mentioning chess to make himself look smarter. Okay, I don't know. Oh, all right. Candy from a baby, congrats. I don't care. It's still chess, and he's getting free lessons. So he, I mean, it's it's a win-win. I get my one point for every game, and he gets his uh, he gets his lessons. He gets his free lessons and doesn't have to spend a thousand bucks an hour like he would if he wanted to talk to Kramnik about conspiracies. So let's play knight d7. Um, I think I'll just play bishop b7 here to hit the pawn on e4. Maybe knight f6 next move or knight. Actually, let's kick the bishop away from g5 here. Let's play h6 and knight f6. Um, probably I'll go knight h5 and g5 next turn, but we'll see what happens. Um, he goes a4. I think I still can just castle. Maybe c4 later. Takes takes bishop a6. Looks pretty good. It goes there. C4 is a move. Knight H5 looks decent. Maybe I go E5 somewhere as well to hook the F4 square where the knight is safe. Knee Hall is trying to adopt hands knee man. Okay, let's play E5. It was Bishop G3, which I don't particularly like, by the way. Um, uh, I guess I'll just play Rook C8 to force him to play D5. Like, I'm trying to provoke him to do something here in the center. I don't know what he's going to do. He goes Bishop B... Or, actually, wait. I just take and I take. I sack my queen for the two towers, and two towers are more than a queen. Because two towers are, la are land. Just take. Okay, it goes Queen D3. Um, Knight C5 at the Queen, Knight A4. More GGs. Uh, they have Davido for the prime. They have Davido. Uh, I don't care. I'll just take another pawn. I'm still willing to sack my queen. Happy New Year, champ. How many chances will you put on winning the candidates? Don't say 12 and a half percent. And I mean, I think the uh, I think the candidates will come down to who is the best nerves. I, I don't think anything else. I, I mean, I, I think I think it really doesn't matter. That's what I would say. I mean, I, I think it just. I want to sack. I kind of want to sack some material here. But I shouldn't. I mean, I should remain very vigilant about my position. So let's just take and take, I guess. I'm gonna have to take. I'll take. I'm still willing to sack the queen. Okay, now he can't re refuse. Um, push some p, attack the queen. Okay, this should be winning somehow. Knight c4, knight c4 is not quite right. Maybe just rook c8. I'm gonna go here. Okay, I guess I just take with a pawn. I mean, this is just a disaster. Um, let's just take. Two more. Two moss. Let's just take. I mean, I have two towers. Two bees. Too much. Go here. Keep pushing the P. And it resigns. Two moss. All right. Play, uh, I think I'm gonna get back to e4, maybe. Why not? Is the new checkers DLC? I don't even mean by the new checkers DLC. Uh, could play queen h5, but let's play bishop c4. We don't want to be too meme. Let's go d3. 12 0 L. Well, this guy's record against me is not exactly great. His record is two wins and something like 70 losses. Yeah, his record is what? Two wins and 71 losses. So he scored two out of 73. Nihal up, up uh, 6 to 1 against Hans, not surprising. I mean, Nihal's speed should give Hans a lot of trouble, actually. Should get, give him a lot of trouble. Yeah, that's not surprising at all. Okay, let's go here. If D4, I'll play 92. It's true, Hans is getting old. Very funny, you guys. Very funny. H6. Now, feels a little bit slow, like I should have time to do something. Why do I feel like I should have time to do something in the center? I don't know. I'm going to play rookie one here. This looks wrong. I think, I think I've got time to play D4. I'm going to go for it. I don't know if it actually was working here, but it looks interesting enough to me that I'm going to go for it. Let's pre-move this, see if he takes or not. Yeah. Takes. Okay, so now I can play knight e4. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take and take. Yay! 
But now I take, take, and take. I think it will unlock for the seven months. Appreciate it. Eating food, yeah. I have some, uh, I have some, uh, some butter chicken from Costco with, um, with some uh, brown rice. Actually, I bet Costco's up since it's not a tech stock. Let's take a look. Is it up even more today? They announced a fifteen dollars dividend, six fifty one, nearing a buying point potentially, maybe. Okay, castles. Let's just go here. Trade off some more pieces. Um, let's take with a rook. Rook d1, maybe. Actually, rook d1's a bad move because there's this weird queen a2 trick that I kind of missed. Okay, this might take a little bit of work to win now, actually. Yeah, this might take more than a little bit of work. I've kind of messed this up. I guess I'll go... Shoot. Yeah, why did I do this? What the heck is wrong with me? Um, I'm trying to figure out if I have time to play Rook D6, basically. Takes, takes, takes. Seven, Queen F8. Go here. Oh no, why did I play? Oh no, why did I do that? That was so stupid. Okay, I gotta pick up the speed here. I, I've misplayed this. I mean, I have Rook G3. It's also Queen D7. I've completely misplayed this. I'm still better because I'm up a pawn, but it's not easy. And I'm down on time, so I need to pick up the speed here. Um, you don't want to be six. I'll go here. I've messed this up. I'm lucky the pawn's on H4, actually. Because if the pawn were on H3, I might be getting mated by Rook D1. But with the pawn on H4, I'm not. Just there, which I thought was a mistake for some reason. I'm gonna go here to hit the pawn. No, Queen A7 is a horrible move by me. Yeah, he's got this. Wait, but I can maybe go Rook E3? No. Take G3. Okay, I'm up a pawn here. Still tricky, but I've got chances maybe. Uh oh no, Queen D5. Oh, aye, aye, aye. Did I just blunder? I think I or I've got C4. Wait. To be very careful how I play this. I think I'm still winning, but I have to be extremely careful. Here. Okay. This is tricky. Time is close and I'm not winning. I'm not clearly winning on the board. Wait, wait, I've got Queen B2 maybe? Yeah, I've got this check and now I should win the game. That was very close actually. Very, very close. Oof. Not, not a good game for me. Maybe getting a little bit nervous here because we're at the end where I know I'm just like, I'm right there. Mate and one. Okay, here we go. Thank you to Flash Jack Silver at 25. Duddy Com. Thank you to Remus. Thank you to Marco Boy for the Prime. Thank you, thank you so much. All right. Uno Moss. Let's go. Uno Moss. Go here. Play A6. Play D6, E6. What am I eating? I'm eating some butter chicken from uh, Costco along with um, along with some uh, brown rice. Takes, I did not expect that. Wait, um, I guess I'll take with the knight maybe. Go here, pressure on all the pawns kind of. Yeah, it's pretty good. 
Do y'all want ETFs like TMF? No. QQQ is where it's at. So it's Queen D2, which is a pretty good move here. Um, I guess I'll play Rook B8. Okay, Axel is playing a pretty good game so far. I have to be careful in this one because he's playing pretty well. Okay, takes, which I'm very happy to see. Because now once I get Knight F6, I think I should be fine. I also have F6 to win the pawn. What is that? Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait a second. I think I'll go here to hit the pawn. There's also B. Wait, this looks insane. Oh, does he have Queen D8? Oh my god. Did I really just blunder that? Ah, gross. Let's take. It's disgusting by me. I'll take, I go knight g4. I mean, ridiculous. Or he can just blunder the game away. I'll take that too. <laughs> And this is why you find people who are who are a little bit weak. Because if I was playing anybody who was like 2,900, I would have lost this game. But it happens. Yeah, very interesting blunder, right? After losing like 13 in a row. Um, and I can take, of course. Hmm. I assume this is right. Go here, overprotect the pawn. Go here, rook c8 incoming. Or rook f8 also. Goes d4, I guess I'll go check. Go check here. He's gonna be facing a bad ending in a second. Let's go check, and there we go. 14 up, 14 down, very, very good. Exactly what the doctor ordered. All right, guys, I'm going to take a short break. Go use the restroom. We'll be right back. Try to boost our rating, get another adoption. Play G6, Bishop G7. Thank you so much for late night balls for the four. Thank you, Shimmer, for the 19. Thank you, One Eye Jack, for the five. Thank you, Kilvanov. Nixon, thank you so much for One Eye Jack, for the five gifts. Let's go here and here. Play Bishop D7, Queen C8, and Bishop H3 here. Hans got schooled by Nihal. Okay, let's go here. Bishop H3. Um, very simple chess. 27.03, so weak, yes. Let's go here and take. Yeah. Play versus Hans Neiman. I would consider it, maybe. Um, I'm going to go over this. Probably is wrong, but it, it looks interesting. Let's play f5. This is what Levy plays, LOL. Yeah, Levy, Levy, um, Levy clearly copying me if, he, if he's actually playing this. This looks weird. Let's take. 95. I know this is actually good, but I'm, I'm trying to do something. Yeah. Hmm. Should be a good position. Weak bishop on c1. Good knight. Rook g8. A lot of pressure. Let's go here and rook g8. Pressure on g3. Look at these knights. Oh, Kramnik flag. Same thing. He would have lost anyway, though, so who cares? Uh, I miss. Uh, I misplayed this a little bit. Shoot, he saw it. Um, hmm. Okay, this guy mildly dangerous, maybe. Let's go here, I guess. These are in nitrile for the prime. Isn't it petty to make a video about Kramnik losing? Well, considering Kramnik tried to cancel me with, with no, uh, no stats or data, I don't really, I, th I think anything is fair game. 
Yeah, I mean, I you, you guys can view it one way, but considering you tried to cancel and you tried to say I was cheating when I wasn't, like, I'm sorry, but I mean, everything is fair game after the after the bullshit he pulled. Played B6. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying everything is fair game after that. So I'm going to go B6, maybe E6 or E5 here. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, let's go here. Maybe pressure the pawn on C3. Maybe rook C5 as well. I mean, don't forget he also is basically threatening to sue everybody too. Let's not forget that either. So yeah, as far as I'm concerned, like everything is fair game. Thank you so much to True Dokian for the four months. Appreciate it. Let's take the pawn. Should be very good. I can just go A5 here. I can play E5 or C5. Mm, let's just go. Here. Oh, I could have. Oh, B5 and B5 and Rook F4. B5, Rook D4, E5 just winning. Let's go. Uh, I still could play E5 and hit the knight. Um, yeah, you're, you're saying um, even if he had legit reason to be concerned. I mean, if, if he had done one, if he done it once or twice and spoken about this one thing, it's not a huge deal. But don't forget, he continued with it for basically a month. I mean, he, he continued it for a month. It wasn't like where he just said one thing and stopped. He's not like he said one thing. It's like, okay, that's it. He basically continued with it nonstop. So you got, you guys want to act like, I mean, like, like it wasn't, I mean, he did, he did. That's what he did. Let's play D4 and take here and play E5 or just H3 stop Bishop G4 and now Knight C3. Yeah. It's not, it's not like he said one thing. It's like, please look at it. That's it. Like he doubled down. He, he, he basically made a petition petition online, which of course was signed by a lot of trolls. And I found great, uh, which I thought was highly comical. I'm not gonna lie. I thought, I thought it was very amusing seeing Joseph Stalin, Vladimir Putin, um, Hans Niemann, many others who, who signed the, uh, who signed the, uh, who signed that great petition that apparently was acting like it was real when it wasn't. Um, so yeah, just take, yeah. It goes 98. Uh, I'm just going to go Bishop G5, maybe Bishop H4, maybe Bishop G3. Yeah. If it takes, I'll take back the pawn. Probably I should have played, uh, I should have played D5 probably. Maybe, uh, maybe not, because after takes, 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 there is F6. Maybe not. But we'll see. So he goes Knight C7. Um, don't have a good move, so I'm just going to play A3, I guess. And... I want to go knight d5 if I can. I don't know if I can, but I want to. Oppenheimer was a surprising signature. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who knew? As an official Stalin, I support this comrade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's see what we get. Waiting for a move. I'm not surprised Genghis Khan signed. Wow, Genghis signed it as well. Shocking. Wow. Wow, Genghis Khan even. That's amazing. Who knew? Genghis actually had time. He had time to sign it. I'm impressed. Uh, Duda not shaking his Matulin's hand. I thought that was uh showed a that was pretty pretty amazing from Duda. Pretty amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Seeing Duda not shake his hand was was pretty phenomenal. It actually kind of reflects a little bit poorly on Magnus because like Magnus has been pretty outspoken too about Russians and and all that other stuff. And yet he played his Matulin and he shook his hand. Things were just auto tilt for seven months. I've got a great position. Massive pressure here in the middle of the board. Um, but yeah, big credit to big credit to um, big credit to uh, to to Duda. Big credit. Um, basically, um, uh, Jan Krzysztof Duda from Poland, he did not shake hands with Denis Hizmetulin from Russia because Denis Hizmetulin has been very outspoken about the Russian, the illegal Russian invasion of Ukraine. Um, and obviously Duda is from Poland and Poles are, you know, Poles, Poles actually remember the world like 25, 30 years ago and how bad, how bad it was with the oppression and the Soviet Union. So, uh, Duda did not shake his hand. Um, and, uh, and like, yeah, props to Duda. They're called Poles, right? Polish people? Aren't they called Polish people? Or is that, is that wrong? Oh, is that wrong? I thought, I thought you were allowed to say that. Is that wrong? 
Oh, is that, is that, are you not allowed to say that? I, I don't know. It's 2024. I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe something's not acceptable in 2024. I'm never sure. Um, okay. Pulls is okay. It, it's okay. Okay. I wasn't sure. I, I mean, I wasn't sure you guys. Go G6, Bishop G7. Let's try to eat this guy eight more to get another adoption. It's 24, 24, dude. You can't say, I know you can't say anything. Actually, I'll give you a great example. Cause I spent the last, yesterday I was busy, uh, busy working on my car quite a bit. Unlike every other chess player who, who doesn't even drive. Um, so I was busy working on my car yesterday. And I, I had to call AAA to get it fixed. Um, cause I, I couldn't figure out the battery issues and replacing it and all this other stuff. And I, I didn't want to try and change a battery on my own. I just, I've never done it. I'm not an auto mechanic. Um, but it was funny because, uh, because what I was going to say is like, like my mom was talking to me about it. Cause I guess apparently driver's ed in the old days, when you did driver education, it meant that you actually, there's like an actual book and a course and other stuff on it. And, um, and, and apparently like you had to take the course. My mom was saying when she took the course growing up, there was a chapter about like batteries, jump starting, all the, the wiring, the, all, all this, all this, this sort of mechanical stuff. Um, and she said that in the chapter that was about this stuff, it's it, basically, they literally wrote in the book. It said, um, girls, you might not, it said something like girls, you might not understand this or this chapter might not be for you. Um, and, and like in 2024, you could never say that you could never say that period. You could never say that you would get canceled. Like in five seconds, if you said that, yeah, I mean, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not kidding. Like that's what my mom said. It's like in 2024, you say that, eh, that's it. That's it. You're canceled. You're canceled. No, and you're, you're just, you're done. You're done. And not, not just on Twitch. Um, okay. Those castles. I'm going to go castle. I'm going to go knight of five here. Maybe knight d4 next move. Um, maybe they're X factor for the 19 months. Uh, isn't that a free, oh, he's got knight d5, but I just go back to e5. Maybe it trades late trades for the 13. They switch up Balan, Balan Raj Blanco for the prime. Yeah. Um, there's, there's a free juicer on c4. Can I go for the kill? Will these, will these knights kill? These knights, will they kill? It looks like they should kill, but I'm not sure if it will kill. Whatever, I don't care enough. Let's just go for it. Why not? I'm just going to go for the kill with knight f3. No, that's from that show. Uh, what's that show called? I forget what that show is called. There's that show called... Um, what is that show called? Do you guys tell me? I'm too, I, I don't remember right off. It's the one with the knives, right? Forge and fire, yeah. And they're like, it will kill is what they say. It will kill. Okay, let's just go for the kill with queen g4. Oh, did I blunder 97? No, I didn't. I've got king h7, luckily. Although somehow this is a little bit... Eh, oh, do I have... Oh, wait. Do I have queen f3 to mate him? Wait a second. King h3? Nah, I mean, why go for that? Um, This isn't as easy as it should be, though, somehow. Spending too much time here thinking as well. I think I'm just going to eat a juicer, maybe. You can take, but I just go here. Should be okay, because I have queen e6 and queen g4 back. Now, I can obviously trade the queens. I don't really want to, but I will. So I'm going to go for this. I mean, he has these knights, but a rook should be better than these knights, especially with me getting a pass pawn on the queen side. Um, I guess I'll just take. Go here. I have rook b8, maybe, or rook a6. Oh, I can't go rook b8. There's knight d7 forking me. Yeah, I don't think there was a mate in two. Queen f3 allowed rook g1. And I didn't see the continuation after that, but it might have existed. I don't know. Let's go d5. Got like rook b8 here, maybe. Rook b5 should be very good for me. Yeah, it should be pretty straightforward. Let's take, drop back. Stop rook c7. I just want to go one, two, three, four with the rook behind the pass pawn. We're just pushing P and winning the game. Is Mitten stronger than Magni? Of course it is. Yes. Let's go A4. 14 gave viewers. Yeah, today is the first uh, titled stream of uh, of the great new year, 2024. Keep pushing the P. I'm just going to keep pushing, pushing, pushing. Push the P and win the game with rook B1. I think Matt Mittens is stronger, but again, yeah, as I was saying, big shout out to everybody who uh, 
who was um big shout out to everybody who uh was was uh who's been watching us first first tuesday stream first stream on twitch in the new year hope you guys are uh, doing well um let's play d4 this time something more standard I played the Magnibot. We did a video. It's on my YouTube. Uh, I played Magnibot last night, and um, I drew one game and lost two. Two games I tried to play normal. One game I tried to clog the toilet. Uh, the game where I clogged the toilet was a draw, and the two games where I tried to play real main lines, I just got smoked. Um, so we, we have our video on YouTube, if you guys haven't seen it already. He goes for B. I'm going to play A3. Yeah. Magni should have just been an Alpha Zero reskin. Magni's not as good as Stockfish or, um, or Komodo. It's a strange move. Um, I'm gonna go here. Does it? Wow. Um, I don't know. This looks bad. Oh, did I just blunder? I did for no reason. But I have Bishop at 495. I mean, a lot of pressure here in the middle of the board. Goes there. Let's target the tower. I can go knight e5 here. I can also just stack. I can also play knight e5, which looks good. I can also go knight b5. I can also literally do anything under the sun. So I think if I can do anything under the sun, I'm going to go here and do the double stack. Go here. Um, he goes bishop g4. Not the move I was expecting, to be honest. Um, go here, hit the pawn on b7. Memphis, Memphis. Um, I guess I'll just go here and trade some pieces. Maybe he has knight d4, but I can just go queen a2, and I'm not really worried. So at b4, I've got e3. Okay, I've got e3. I hit the bishop. I've got b4 looming. Queen on a5, very dubious here. Um, Hikaru played for Husek Vienna in 2008, 2009. That is correct. Yes, I played for um the Austrian team Husek Vienna. Yes. Yes, your memory is good. Correct. Um, let's go knight c6 to touch the queen. Or, sorry, attack the queen, I should say. He sacks the rook. Let's take back. Um, should be close to winning here. Just puts piece on d5. Um, and it should should be very good. Am I playing late titles? Of course I am. Yeah, don't be weird. Don't be weird, you guys. Don't be weird. Um, don't be weird. Um, h3 is a move. Bishop d5 is a move. I mean, all roads lead to Rome here. I really like that fr that statement. I apparently like apparently I'm one of those guys who like I'm I'm all about ancient Rome, right? Wasn't that the saying? Okay, now I can take with the pawn or the bishop. I guess I'll take with the pawn because I don't want to let him trap my bishop here. Rook takes was probably fine, but there's some e5 nonsense. I don't want to allow it. Um, yeah. Did I be the regular mag spot? I didn't do a video playing the regular ones. I only played against Magni, but. Um, but at any rate, uh, one second, let's see. B4 is kind of reasonable here. I'm just trying to do something. My, my bishops are kind of weird in this position. I don't know why. They just look weird. So I'm going to go here and hit the knight. some point, I'm probably going to play B4 later on, but not yet. Ikaro represented Brazil in the GCL. That is correct. Yes. Yeah. Actually, I realized I have E4 to maybe win one of the, one of these knights. Okay, it goes Rook D8. Of course, I should take. Now there's no E5 threat, so I probably can just play like B4. And it should just be winning. Or is it? Yeah, it should be winning. Just takes. I was worried about E5 for a split second. It's Magni. M-A-G-N-I. Uh, why even type Blitz Farm instead of Blitzing Farm? You're not saving any time. I don't know what you mean by that. First side to say one was won by Max Maximus, uh, the commander, the commander in general of the Felix Legions. Get Queen B5. I'm gonna take the pawn on C5. I'm gonna, I could push D6. I can also play H3. Let's go. Queen C2, maybe try to trade some queens. Yeah. I did not represent Japan, you guys. I hit play H3, touching the attacking the knight on G4 here. Yeah, let's take. So. Alright, takes. I just take. I mean, this is very simple. Just E4 here. I all I really need to do is push some P. Go here. No pawns on the color of the bishop. Bishop can't touch anything, which is how it should be, as I've said many times. Now we just start pushing the pawns. Um, let's keep pushing. D7 incoming with the rook behind the pawn. He'll probably resign here. Wasn't he the commander of the Felix Legions, or am I wrong? My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius. I was c commander of the Northern Re no Was it commander of the Northern Armies? I don't, I don't, I, when I was younger, I could remember the lines. Now I don't, now I don't remember the line anymore, but yeah, there's, it's like the classic line. Um, let's keep going. 
Okay, we're 40% of the way there. 60 more to go. Uh, let's keep going, G6. There, there were no northern... My, yeah, my name is Gladier. General of the Northern Armies, yes. Um, commander of the Felix Legions. Yeah, so I'm not wrong. Okay, good. Father to a father to a murdered son, blah, 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 wife. And I hope my vengeance in this life or the next. That much I remember, yes. Um, but... Anyway. Uh, Gladiator 2 is coming out. I don't know what's, what it's going to be like. I, I, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, could be interesting. It could be terrible. Very, very hard to judge. Uh, let's go here. Maybe Knight of 5. No idea. I, I actually have no idea what to expect from I'm going to go F6 here. Um, and I think I'm going to play E5 and like Knight G4 to hook him. Uh, this allows Queen H3, actually. Go here. Hit the Queen. If only I could get these knights in quicker. I can't, but it still should be good. Let's go here. Hit the Bishop. Also F5 looming here as well. Um, let's go here. Hit the Knight. I can go king d7. I can also trade and play another end game. I don't want to play an end game this time. Though. I'm just going to go here. And it goes bishop a1, which is actually a good move. I don't know why I did this. Yeah, I'm not happy with my position. I let him get this outpost with knight on g5 for some stupid reason. But whatever. Show goes on. Yeah, I see Willie. You mean Charlie? Charlie and the Chocolate Factor? Is that you mean by Wonka? Is that what you mean by, is that what do you mean by I don't know what you mean by that exactly I guess I'll go e5 here Knight e2 I should play a5 maybe a4 I got to be careful b4 rook b3 okay it goes for this one let's go here not sure I like this move but it's a move let's go Knight c2 looks a little bit Dean it's maybe okay but it looks like I'm trying to trap my knight, so I'll just go back. It was d4. There's f4 here. I can also play rook e8. I can also just trade. I think I'm gonna go rook e8. I really don't like my position though. Okay, takes. I'm happy to see that actually. Very happy. Because now I'm gonna get some activity, and with activity, I should be fine. The show goes on is equivalent to, and you are not entertained. Okay, apparently. Um, I don't like that. Now I'll trade go here. There's no B fork because he loses the rook. Pressure in the center with the classic knight fork. And if this knight jumps and then these knights are very bigly. So let's see what he does. Yeah. We are playing the late title Tuesday for everybody who's wondering, just to be clear. We are playing. Um, now I could take on E4. I'm wondering if I can play like D5 or something. If only I could get rid of this horse with like knight F7, Yay! which I can't. But I think this still should be good. Takes, like, stack the rooks, pressure on the pawn. Seems like this should be good with rookie eight next move. Goes rook d1. Okay, I'll sidestep with king c7, of course. c5. Um, should take, probably rookie eight. Pressure the pawn. b6 incoming. Looks very good for me. Thank you so much, Javier, for the prime. Thank you so much, Javier. Let's take and go B6. Thank you so much, Hoonish. Thank you so much, Jamafile for the 17. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you so much, Quiet Guru, for the gift of sub as well. Magnus did not lose to MVL. He, uh, he missed a round in the tournament. So, yeah. Go here. Win the juicer. Goes B5. Now, I could take... I could also play C5 put, to put the knight in jail forever. Um... But this has to be correct with rookie four. Because check out King C8. Thank you Gino the Gambino for the four months. Thanks so much to Gino. Hope all is well with uh, the Gambino family. Um, does it, do they even exist anymore? I feel like the Mafia doesn't exist anymore. Um, let's see what Matreya does. Please please beat Simon. Thank you Chilaroni for the problem. I didn't play Magnus, so it's kind of hard. Like it's If I don't play him, I, I don't know, really know how I'm so, supposed to beat him. Okay, now the key here to winning is just to dominate the knight. Um, 95 looks like a good way to... Oh, it doesn't dominate. He can still jump, but whatever. As long as I don't hang something bigly, I win the game. Let's go b4, king b5, king c5. Go um, here. 
He's got knight c7, so go here and king a4, of course. Resigns. Let's keep going. Okay, 50% of the way there. Play knight f3. Let's go b3, bishop b2, d4, e3. Trying to get another adoption. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Go bishop e2 and castles. Play c4. Let's go knight d4. Let's take. You're pretty outspoken about Russia, Ukraine. I don't want to talk about Gaza. Okay, whatever, dude. Cool story. Um, let's go knight c2, bishop f3, knight c3. Really not the same topic at all, but thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for the suggestion. Um, for some reason, I miss that d5 is a playable move here. How do I win this is the question. I think I'll just play here and take with a knight, maybe. Take with a bishop. Mm, don't like my position. Take and play bishop f3. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, there, there's no there's no happy answer to that question, no matter how you look at it. It goes uh, there. Play bishop f3, pressure the pawn. Actually, I'm kind of happy about this position because I feel like I'm getting a little bit more of what I want in this position. Yeah. So, should be good. All right, so he takes. I'll take back with the knight. I can play rook f d one. He goes knight a five. Um, knight a five. Wait. No, I guess I should just take. I mean, if he trades the queens, so I feel like I'm getting some play here. Probably won't do that, but we'll see. Well, we shall see. All right, he trades the queens. Um, I guess I'll take with the A rook. It just feels right. I don't really know why. Let's go knight before. Try to use D's knights. Get up, get off on his business. I can always trade the bishop for the knight. We can start to use some of the dark arts, I guess. Um, yeah. Goes a5. Okay, now we're going to go for the classic. We're going to try to master the dark arts. We're going to take and go knight d5 here. Sorry, trying to put it in a limit order. Give me one second. Um, let's play knight d5. Hit the bishop, hit the pawn on b6. Oh, that's that enough? Need more. Okay, it goes b5. Oh, about to hang my knight. That's not good. Let's go knight b6. Hit the rook. I've got knight d7 to fork the rook and the bishop here. Maybe it's separate over the 100 bits. Appreciate it. Um... Should I? Okay, how do I win this game? I mess this up. Here takes takes king g seven, takes takes. I'm not winning that end game. I don't. I've got ninety six b four. I think I have to go for it though. If I don't go for it, what am I doing? He's also got rook a two, which is kind of messy actually. A little bit murky. Thank you, SSM. Appreciate. It. Thank you so much. Okay, he goes rook a8, which is a mistake, I assume, because I can take twice. Um, want to go for some rook d7. It's still not easy to play, but I somehow I assume I'm winning this with rook d7. It's also knight c. No, I'm not though. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, he goes there. Let's go here. Okay, time to turn up. Time, time to turn up the juice. Um, let's go here. Pressure the knight. Knight g5, knight c5, knight d6. Look at these knights. The knight is jumping every which way. Okay, it goes a4, which of course I just blundered to, obviously. Go h4. Okay, I gotta focus here. This is very dangerous. I need to focus. Go here. Go here. The reason I'm going to C7 is because now I have F4 somewhere. Um, Gotta come up with something. What am I doing? Maybe Knight D8 and F4 here? Because now I'm threatening mate in two. Very dangerous. Actually, if he takes the Knight, I take with check, and then I win the game. 
You know, curses for the 29 months. Thanks so much, curses. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thanks so much to that no one life hate watcher as well. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Yeah, this is this is not Hassan's chat, you guys. So if that's what you're looking for, um, you can go to Hassan's channel. It's there and I could tickle him with the check, but I assume I just take. Okay, this should be winning if I'm precise here. But the thing is, do I want to be precise or do I want to just win at all costs? I think this is probably the simplest way to win. Go check, a check, and take, and then I go. Oh, I thought I rooked a horn. Oh my god, I thought I rooked a horn with running. I, I can flag him, but... Uh... Wait, is this actually winning? Here, 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 here. I think I'm winning, actually. Okay, should be winning. Let's keep going. Yeah, that was not good. Okay, let's keep rolling. Here we go. Okay, let's play G6 again. Bishop G7, obviously. Good D6. Tyler 1 still on streak. I think Tyler 1 is doing puzzles, but not, not much not much else. Go Queen C8, which is good. It's good that he's doing something he still enjoys. He was Scotty for the six months with puzzles, um, and he's not hitting his head against the wall You know, when he's getting stuck at like this 1500 rating. It's actually very much a good thing. Um, and I'm happy to see it because like if he if he kept playing every day and he's like going between like 1400 and 1500 like he's never going to improve from there um, without something just clicking and then you're just spending hours and hours every day on something and it's it, eventually it's not going to be fun that's the other big problem like eventually if you do that you're going to be like why am I wasting my time on this stupid game and you're all the positive feelings that I, I assume he had associated with like playing chess to begin with will go out the window and so it's it's very much a good thing I mean it's not about needing a coach to break 1500 that's not that's not what it's about you guys um that's not what it's about. So, yeah. All right. Anyway, let's keep going. Oh, did the Harvard professor have to resign? Ah, uh, she had to resign. It looks like I just see. I'm just looking at. I just see the headlines. Uh, let's just take here. She had to resign, it looks like. Thank you so much to Etiris for the Prime. No, there's nothing wrong with casually playing at 1500, but the problem is when you're playing and you're expecting improvement and you get stuck, you start to get really upset and frustrated. And that is not a good thing. That's not a good thing at all. Am I in precious metals like lithium? There was a there was a Chilean lithium stock that I looked at a while back, but I haven't been in anything lately. There's some it was like Chilean. I forget what the symbol was, but there was one that I was looking at. Um Okay, so I should be really good here. Um how do I win though? Maybe I just I think I'm gonna take and go for this one. It's a little bit rudimentary, but I'm just gonna try to kill him on the H file, basically. And there's no knight d4, very importantly, as well. Like you can go rook c1. I mean, queen h5 is probably fine. I mean, I can also go knight f5. I can also go rook f7. Um, actually, it's a little bit... Eh, I may have made a mistake in this somehow. That's actually a good move by him. Okay, you got to pick it up. Pick up the speed. Like, let's go here and take, I guess. I mean, like, I assume that I should have enough play with, like, knight f5 or something, or maybe even just g4 right away. I think I'm just going to go g4 in one go. I'm just going to go for the kill. Let's say, like, go for the kill with g4. Of course I take. Of course I go here. Bishop b7 is not playable. f3 is a massive threat here to win the bishop and probably just win the game on the spot. If he takes on b7, I take, and then I lolly him with f3, queen, g2, the classic lolly checkmate. d4. So I have f3 again, but I assume I just go here. Same thread of f3, just overprotect the square with the queen and the rook. Yeah, this is probably just lost. If he goes f3, I can even take h3. Wait, what? Can't they go f3 and lolly him? Isn't this just a lolly checkmate with queen h3 and queen g2 with the pawn and the queen? I think that's just gg. Yeah, it's just gg. We're gonna get another win. 70% of the way there. We're still three more, three off. Three off from the 10 in a row. Maybe a little Karante with the prime. 1500, I don't know what you, when you say 1500, by the way, I don't know if you mean online or over the board. Big difference. 
play a Smith Mora Gambit in honor of uh, Ken Smith and Mora. Here. Wait, wait a second. This is not right, is it? Or did I blunder? Wait a second. Oh, I think I played the wrong order. Oh, no, I played the wrong order here, actually. I think. I think I played the wrong. Oh. I played the wrong order, but whatever. I still don't know how bad this is, though. There's still B4 tricks and Queen C4 tricks. Like, I don't know if this is terrible. I, maybe I should have gone Queen D1, though, but whatever. Goes Knight G8, which to me looks kind of insane. Um, I could go E6 here. I think I'm just going to play as, like, a true Smith Moore and just castle. Like, there's no need to be aggressive here. Just play, like, a proper game. Um, go here. Knight G5 is still a big threat here. Still Queen C4 check is... Actually, Queen C4 is maybe very interesting. Like, I'm going to go Queen C4, Knight G... He plays D6, which... Uh, to me, that looks kind of insane. Um, I can take the pawn. Wait, I need to be careful how I do this. I mean... I think I'll go... Check. Hit the king. And I think I'm just going to take, because bishop e6, knight g5 is gg. He has to go to, like, f8 or e8. I take the pawn, and I mean, I'm getting massive attacking possibilities here in the center. He's got no development. He's got 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pieces on their original squares, and I can go rook d1 or rook d1. All my pieces are developed. I mean, this might not be winning, mind you, but it looks really, really bad. It seems familiar for the prime. I mean, it's hard to believe that a human can survive. Let's go rook e1. Maximum pressure on the E file. Rook D1 next move. And he can't castle. Like, if he could go E6 and castles, he'd probably be winning. But he can't castle because he already moved his king. Found a new gambit? Maybe. I mean, this probably isn't so bad, actually. And now I go here, of course. Look at D's rooks. Look at this pressure. This massive pressure here. I don't I don't see him surviving. I also have knight B5, knight C7, I just realized as well. Yeah, this is just losing. It was queen b6. Now, I have knight b5 here, which I'm just going to play. I'm just going to go knight c7 because he can't castle. If he castle, he'd be winning, but he can't. No castle out because he moved the king. Now I can play knight g5. I also have d7 and knight d6, which looks dirty. Um, I also have knight... Maybe knight g5. I have to make sure I don't get too cocky here with what I do. Because, like, if I get too cocky and I play the wrong move, I will lose this game. Maybe just knight c7 is simple. I think it's probably simple. So I just take with a pawn. Bishop guards it. No need to go for a flashy idea like knight g5, knight e5. Well, that might have worked. Maybe. Oh, did I have queen f7? Oh, I might have had a beautiful mate there with knight. I might have been able to go knight g5, knight e5, queen f7. Oh, takes, takes. There's king f8, g8. Never mind. He plays king f8. Okay, now, I mean, if you look at d's knights, I mean, d's knights are really a problem. This should just be winning for me. I don't see any way to stop me, really. Goes e6. Okay, of course we take. We take back. There are some big fossils that are going to occur here. Big fossils. So, going to get another win. Let's go check and mate. All right, let's keep going. Here we go. Round number nine. Let's play g6, bishop g7 here and keep rolling. Let's go here. Knight c6. Play bishop d7, queen c8, bishop h3 next move. Um, yeah, I didn't need to be too cocky there, but I mean, I, I could have been more cocky, but still good. Okay, goes b3. Let's play bishop h3 again. I thought I got a good position. Let's, let's go h5, takes. Let's go here. Play some high level players. How dare you insult these guys? These guys are seriously good players. I and mean, this guy's like 2695, and you're acting like, ah, play some good players. Meanwhile, you're down there at like 1200, and we, we, we wonder why. Um, let's go here. Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Um. Oh my god. Uh. Okay. Let's take. 
I just nearly ruined my streak. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, slow down. Take a deep breath. Take a chill pull. Let's go night before. How does the night move? <laughs> How does the night move? That's a good question. Maybe X Mad XX for the eight months. That was so bad by me. That's unbelievably bad. Um, okay, let's think about this. Pawn is maybe weak. It's maybe strong. I'm going to go here and probably trade. Yeah, let's go here. Can't believe I did that. I did the Benjamin Benjamin Bach declined. Yeah. Go here. I'm I'm a little bit I don't even know what to say. Thank you, Fermion, for the prime. Yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm I'm a little bit disturbed at the moment. Just want to go like C6 and open it up. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna sack now. Let's sack and go for this end game. I was curious about this end game already, but let's go for it anyway. Now the rook's on C8. C6. I was already curious about this end game before with like a 93, so I'm gonna try to activate the rook. Open file should be at a premium here for my two towers. So if I get an open file, the rook should be better than the bishop and the knight here. Goes there. I mean, rook C2 looks like a solid move to hit the bishop. I, I can always go f6 or f f5 is a move now actually f5 should just be winning king d3 rook g2 go here knight's still under attack now i get another pawn and this should be pretty smoothly winning for me yeah okay one more you guys one more yeah one more to go let's take knight f3 i need to get e5 in if i can i can also go a5 a4 I think I'm gonna go a5, a4 here. Try to open up the queen side, maybe. Maybe not very smart, though, because I fixed the pawn to a dark square. It goes b4. I'm gonna play b5, of course. Oh, I had e5. What am I doing? I, I literally said all I need is e5, and I could have done it here. What am I doing? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Let's go here, I guess. This way he gets no d5. And play rook c8. Pawns, by the way, on the other color. The bishop can't touch the pawns again. And this one pawn covers a critical jump or square. Yeah, that, that's... I don't know I, what's wrong with me. But it is what it is, as the, as the old saying goes. Second. All right. Uh, let's play Rook C8. Yeah, yeah, I just realized the video I was trying to get on YouTube, I can't do it. So I have to convert a file and everything. So let's go check. Um, so one second, let's go check. Let's go here, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's go here. Yeah. I think I can just go E5 here, close it. I could have played Rook D3 check too. That was more than enough as well. But this is good enough. Um, can go Rook A2 as well. Yeah, let's keep going. One more for the adoption. Play e4. Good night. Oh, I should have played the I should have played the Smith Moore again. Uh, let's play this one. Let's go Queen e4, of course. God's plan. That's just a free pawn, I'll take it. Unless I blundered something. I don't think I did. I could have played e d6 too. Okay, let's see. This is kind of stupid by me, by the way, to play like this. Um, I think I'll just go here and castle. I'll just play simple chess. It, it's just an end game. I mean, it's nothing special, nothing to write home about. But at the end of the day, it should be okay. Should be fine. What? What the heck is this? That, what the heck is going on? One second. Go. 
Okay. He castles. Um, I can play knight f3 here. I don't know what he's doing, by the way. Let's just go like rook d1 and knight d4. Yeah. Ding! Yeah, that's uh, because I have a converter for the file, so I just had to upload the file and convert it. Yeah, you did hear ding. Ding is in the building. Yeah, because I need to upload a, upload a file. So I had to convert, and then I need to upload it. He takes... Okay, apparently my opponent thinks his name is Bobby Robert James Fisher, so he plays bishop a2. I mean, I mean, Robert James Fisher was a great player most of the time, but trapping your bishop on the edge is not so smart. Thank you, kids, power for the prime. They have trouble, oh, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much to Broadfist for 24 and Ezekiel as well. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just going to go rook a1, and he's going to resign. Because, I mean, this, the bro, bro thinks he's Bobby Fisher, but not in a good way. Not in a good way. Bro plays knight f4. Um, can obviously trade. The, oh, do I just go knight c3? Actually, yeah, it's just simple. I just win the win the bishop. This is even simpler. Knight g2, I take. Knight d3, I take. All roads lead to Rome. Things. So we're gonna get the adoption. Ding, 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 a ling, a ling. Yes, exactly. Okay, still thinking. Probably gonna resign in a second if I had to guess. He's thinking too long. Yeah, I mean he just lost. That's why. It'll be interesting to see how Ding does in Vikonsei, though. I'm actually really quite curious. Okay, let's keep going. Actually, this is kind of boring. It's I should find someone else to play. I don't mind adopting people, but I should find someone else to adopt. I think Unox needs a beginnings. Go here. Maybe not hang my queen. Because at plus one, I mean, like, if I make one stupid slip like I did last time, like, I'm just cooked. Let's go here. Let's go here. Mm, I guess I'll go here. E6 is a terrible move. I don't know why I played it. Yeah, now he's knight h2, so I have to get my queen back out. I mean, short of making an epic fail, I probably should win every game, but still. I don't know. I feel like I'm close to blundering against this guy, and I, I don't really want to make blunder and just throw away all my, all my hard work. On the other hand, I probably should be able to beat him. Beat him 10 more in a row. That's the flip side of the coin. Did my light just flicker for a second? Um, did my light just flicker? I, I feel like it did, but maybe I'm crazy. Let's just castle. Maybe the XX Silent Rip for the 19 months. Thanks so much to Rip Van Winkle. It's B4 logical. Okay, I'm gonna go to IG6 now and. Why did I do this though? What, what am I even doing? I, again, I'm starting to play this horribly. I think I ate in a bed for the 17 months. I thought my, I don't know, maybe I'm just insane. I thought my light flickered for a second there. Things are ran Django for the 25 month reset. Things are ran Django. Appreciate it. Thank you. Let's go. I don't even know which square is best, but I'll go here just to touch the pawn on C4 maybe. Okay, now it's time to get aggressive. Um, I'm gonna go G4 and F5 maybe. Try to attack here. Last time I played Vladislav Artemyev online, I don't know. I have no idea. It's been a long time. Let's go here. Pressure the knight. Pressure the knight. Okay. <sighs> Bishop C1 played. I mean, I can obviously just take and go off five. Hit the pawn. Hit the pawn on C4 too. <clears throat> Could have played Rook F8, maybe. Ooh, that's dangerous. Actually, that's, is that dangerous? Not really, but it could be. Could be dangerous. I mean, I always have Knight C8 to guard. Yeah. Go here. Okay, goes Rook B1. Um, I guess I'll go Rook F8. I, I mean, I, I don't know. Is he... Oh, he's trying to crash it like this. Ah, so if I go F4, okay, so I'll go B6 here. I'm gonna go F4 next move, of course. 
take with a rook, rook f3, incoming, rook f3, rook f8. I assume I'm quicker than whatever queenside business he's trying to cook up. What does t t Title Tuesday Cup mean? It's just a new, the, just a new rebranding, I think, of the tournament. I do have to be very quick though here, because if I'm not quick, I could end up in trouble. Um, gotta be quick though. I don't, I don't have a quick way through. It goes d4, which I really don't like. Uh, that's just a blunder because of queen e4. I'm playing the late title Tuesday. Yes, you guys, I will be playing. It goes bishop f4. Not the craziest idea, but I can also just go queen e4. I can probably take with the queen here. I can take with a pawn and go for a lolly. Uh, let's just take with the queen and go rookie a. Keep it simple. Maybe rookie two. Pretty straightforward. Still not easy. What am I doing? Somehow I've messed this up. Like it's still in better, but it's not easy to win. D5 maybe is a move. I think I'll just go here knight f5 though. We're just here to pressure the rook. <laughs> He meant to go queen d5 and mouse slip. That means he might be tilted, so maybe I can eke him for a few more. Yeah, maybe I can maybe I can eke him for a few more games. Cause that that reeks of tilt. Let's go here in castles. Sound problem? What's a sound problem? What's what's sound problem all about? I don't know what that means. Just take and go c4. I, I don't know what you mean sound problem. What do you mean? Yeah, I don't know what that means. Hikaru tries to not talk about the Roman Empire challenge. Impossible. Exactly. I mean, the Roman Empire, like, what an empire it was. Depends which emperors you want to talk about. Like, who, who are the best best rulers? I don't know. I mean, for me personally, like, I don't know. I mean, obviously, everyone's big on Julius Caesar, but there are plenty of ones who were, who were okay. Like, I mean, Augustus and, 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 and Julius Caesar were the two top ones. I mean, as somebody who likes philosophy, of course, Marcus Aurelius was great. Um... Let's go A3 and kick the knight. I don't know if this is good. I can play knight D2, maybe in bishop F3. But yeah, I mean Trajan, Trajan, Trajan and Hadrian are two of the, two of the best in my in my book. Um, of course, everybody's got to have a very uh, soft spot for Nero, obviously. Uh, let's play knight B5 here, um, and I can play F3. Worst of the worst, right? Is that even close? Actually, is that even close? Is it even close? Is there anyone who is is there anyone even remotely close historically to how bad? Um, how, how bad, uh, how bad, um, uh, Nero was. I mean, Nero made good pizza. What? Wait, what? Nero made good. Wait, are you trolling? What? You must be trolling me. I mean, I thought, I thought Nero was widely considered to be the worst one. Nero equals Trump. Okay. Thank you. As always. Yes. I, I really needed to hear that. Um, wait, can I trap the juicer? I can, can't I? 94. Rook a3, queen b4, bishop c3, maybe? I mean, this looks so dangerous. Yeah, I go here, hit the queen. I mean, he has queen b4, but at the very least, I can take on f6. I'll probably sack the queen if I had to guess. Okay, so now the question is if I take... I think I can just... It's very rudimentary, but maybe just like... Uh, do I not have a way to trap? I guess I'll go here. I know this is working for me, but. So this should be pretty good for me here. We're trying to work on what, this will be 12 if I win this one. Doesn't this just allow rook b2 or am I stupid? I just take with the a pawn and the queen. Oh, wait, I can't. Oh my gosh, the queen hangs. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? Oh no, I think I messed this up. There's a takes b4 here. I could take maybe and play with the two pawns. Yay! I can also go rook a1. Um, I think rook d3 is better with like queen a1. No, I've misplayed this, of course. <sighs> Lovely. With the bishop. I could.
could sack. I can also go king f2. I can also just play like h. I play queen f6 as a question. I don't know. So I think I'm just going to go h4 here. Try to maybe go h5. Maybe try to get a lolly mate on g7, maybe. Let's go here. They take. So expected that. Um, take. Yeah, I've, I've really butchered this badly. How do I do this? Um, I have F4, F5, maybe? I'm trying to figure out how I do this. So here, maybe F5. I have to be very careful here. Sorry, you guys. Give me a second. I need to focus. Here. Uh, that's Shaq. There we go. Another win. He has a twitchy forehead for the 11 months. Thanks so much, twitchy forehead. Okay, eight to go. Let's keep, keep rolling. Let's go G6, Bishop G7. Okay, I guess I'll keep playing Bishop H3. It's worked so far. Why not? We're eight away from the, the clean 20. Hikaru is too slick. Yeah, I try to be slick. Let's go here in Queen H3, right? This was the idea. Or no, this wasn't the idea. Maybe. I don't know. Who cares? Yeah, okay. Let's go E5 here. I didn't play Queen H3. <laughs> yeah, just don't play Queen H3. <laughs> Don't play Queen H3 and it's all good, but yeah. Um, I could go Knight G4 here. I don't know. I'm going to go for this. I hope I'm not losing. Just making sure there's no way to trap my Queen before I get G5. I don't see it, at least, so. I just want to go G5 and mate him on the H file. That's my only idea. Castle. Yeah, like G5 is looming large here. G5 and GH4. Very, very dangerous idea. In fact, I think after G5, he might just be lost. That's how bad this is. It's so a rune magic for the two month resub. No coffee, no nothing. Okay, now it's interesting because I could take with a knight here, actually, go for knight f3. I could also just go G5, but I'll just take with the pawn. I just want to go G5. It's actually very easy. It's like caveman style. Just G5, just all in, just attack. In your head, excellent, and all night. What? That's just a free pawn? No? Looks like a free pawn. Okay, so he's he basically admitted that he's that he can't do anything about this pawn. So now, I guess I just take knight before is what I want to go for. Like some knight before trick. Maybe I'll just. Take and go knight before. Takes, I can check, check. Classic kebab on the second. They need a cue for the 34. They need a silent disposition for the uh, seven month three. So, okay, he takes. I'll go check. I can actually pre move it. It's that good. Okay, I think I, I mean, I think I should just go. Uh, C6 allows Rook F2. I have A5 here. Is that endgame winning? Um, I think C6 is winning, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm just going to go for A5 here. Because if he gets Rook F2, Rook F1, he just trades off all the juicers. Let's take. I mean, my assumption is that this endgame is winning just because of placement of the pawns and that I can push P. And his king is on the back rank too, which doesn't help. Take. Start pushing the P. Could have played b6 was maybe a little bit better actually but i can still take and yeah, just takes takes easy peasy lemon squeezy i think it ulter bjorn for 13 months yeah we're just keep on keep on rolling let's just take let's go here let's keep 
pushing the P. Here we slide. Let's keep going. Seven more to go. What is C5? Looks okay or not? It looks wrong. I don't know why. It just looks wrong. I can't really pinpoint why, but it feels feels wrong for some reason. It just feels loose. Title Tuesday starts a little bit later. Now, my assumption was that I could play E5 and Knight 5 I don't know if I can, but I'm going to go for it because that was my, my first instinct. Let's go here, attack the queen. Blitz is mostly intuition. Pretty much, yeah. 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 The Babylon, some loser. Now, I can play Queen D2 here. Um... Why not? Because they're still... That's just a mistake by... Oh my gosh, that's just a mistake by me. I should have played C3 or Bishop D2. Uh, that's a mistake by him. He should have traded and then got Knight 6. Now I can take and he's... I have like a weird triple four Karu. Just take. Just take. Bishop C3. And now... I can also go H. He can also take... No, take takes F4 maybe? Maybe. Hmm. I should not have allowed this, actually. Kind of stupid by me. I think I'll take with the knight. Thank you so much to Zexos for the Prime Total Good Ads. Thank you to Martin for the 24. I have misplayed this, but... Eh, it's still... I've misplayed this. I'm still better, but it's not going to be easy to win now. Let's go here to hit the pawn. C4, I just take, take. This bishop on A6 is not very good here. That's the one saving grace in this position. Oh, he can just play, oh, he can just play bishop B5. But whatever, I can still just take on C4. Oh, what? Did I miss something? If takes, I have rook C6. If rook E2, I just take. Oh, I see what he's trying to go for, but I think he's too slow me, or... I have to take, only move. It's gonna get a little bit dangerous. Um, takes on F2. I mean, I have time to go G4 here. I can also play Rook D1. I think I'm gonna go G4. I need to start pushing P fast, though. If I, if I don't start pushing P, I, I'm not winning. Let's go here, b4. I can take and come back. Yeah, but now I take and drop back. Which I think he missed, because now I cover and there's no way. And now I'm pushing p fast. We're pushing the p fast and hard here. What about the lonesome loser? Okay, let's go. It's time to start pushing p. Takes, keep pushing the P. Okay, wait, so now he's trying to go F3. I go B6. What's the big deal? Because I also have a check here. I think, I think I've got check ideas, like Rook A7, Rook A6, for example, B7, B8 later. I'm gonna go check and then Rook A6. That's my idea, at least. He's way too slow, by the way. 30 seconds, way too slow. This just isn't going to get it done. Just not going to get it done. I'll pre-move this. Way too slow. Yeah, he's too slow. <laughs> I blunders that. Rook 8 was winning. I gambled that he wouldn't do this. That's funny. Yeah, Rook 8 and B7 was just GG. It's still GG because it's a check. Okay, let's keep going. Six more to go. Thank you so much to Ben Bangle for the 44 month resub. Yeah, as long as I don't hang my king, I'll probably win. I am in his rating range and also slow. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, you guys. I mean, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but like, that's just how it is. 
I should have played knight h6 first, by the way. I don't know why I didn't. Well, let's go knight e7. Still have queen h3 later. I'll play an endgame. Why not? Let's give this guy a chance. Go here. Probably rook c8. Why am I, why am I saying I want to give him a chance, by the way? <laughs> why do I want to give him a chance? So stupid. Let's go here. Yeah. 30 in a row two so that's why I need I, I need to take a bit of a break before um before the evening title Tuesday so that's that's why I think I'll go here and put the other knight on e6 now yeah no I'll go here and hit the pawn why not a little bit more logical to play this and hit the pawn take this one there's rook c1 um I have some problems here so I'm gonna go king f7 because there's 97 nastiness that I just can't really allow so we'll get to take and that's fine that's life not really worried um, so I can always go c6 here maybe to hit the knight knight c5 also an option I don't particularly love my position but I think it's playable because now I get this to hit the pawn and now I have a4 as well and I have c6 and I have bishop h6 and I have bishop f8 and I have a lot of stuff happening could go bishop h6 I think I'm gonna go here to stop knight b3 no trades Okay, let's go c6 try to force a trade bishop h6 there's work d8 maybe i'm definitely unwinding this like i should not be much worse anymore but i'm still not necessarily better either go here gonna go knight e6 knight d4 now i cover b7 that's why it works here let's go here knight d4 bishop c5 bishop d6 a lot of good things happening for me now or not i missed that shoot I missed that completely. I, I, I guess I'll go back. Yeah, this is probably the worst game I've played so far easily. First time I've played where I think I'm actually in a little bit of trouble. Um, yeah, let's, let's go here. Definitely the first game where I feel like I'm not playing very well. Go here, knight d4, though. Uh, it's not what I want at all. I'll go here. Oh, great. Now I just... Or do I have knight c7? Go here. I don't even know what's going on here. I'm so confused. I guess I'll go here. He's too slow, though, so I should win. Yeah, he's too slow. And now I have bishop f2 also, and I should be winning. Yeah, now I get this, and I win the game. Very dicey, but we're going to win. Oh, he's got knight f1, actually. Never mind. It's not over yet. But he's too slow, so... Now I just win. There we go. All right, 15. Okay, five more to go. Let's keep rolling. Good night, F3. The fact that you caught a struggle is twice as 100. Why is it never top 10? <laughs> that's, that must be a troll, right? That must be a good... That's a good troll. That's a great troll, actually. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's go here in rook d1. Yeah, that's a good troll. Yeah. I'm on a streak of 30 right now. Awesome. So it'll be 35 I win again. Nice. Good times, you guys. Good times. Um, I'm going to go knight e1 and maybe knight c2 this time. Okay, let's just go knight b5 again. I'm going to play a4, clog the, clog the uh, queen side here. Let's go a4, clog it up. 
Oh, uh, well, I changed my t-shirt style anymore. I don't know what you mean by that exactly, but um, yeah, who knows? I could take, I guess I'll just take one. He takes with a C pawn. I'm actually a little surprised. Or is there C5 here? No, there's no C5. Um, uh, what am I trying? I'm going to go here, I guess. I, I kind of want to go queen a1. I kind of want to activate the rook or something, but it's not easy to do here. Let's go here. Now knight d6, very serious threat to win material. Yeah, and I have f3 somewhere in here, but I think bishop f1 looks pretty reasonable just to protect the pawn laterally. Yeah, thank you so much to Tobias Lion for the prime. Thank you so much. Okay, he goes there. I think I should play F3. Thank you so much to Rachel Crater for the 7. Thank you, Quiet Guru for the 21. Colt Pan for the 12. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yay! I mean, this just cannot be right. I mean, this, this can't be right. I've got too much coverage on the second rank with the Rook and the Bishop, and the Rook comes over too quickly, I think. I mean, I don't know, maybe not, but I feel like I've got way too much coverage way too quickly here on the second file, or on the second rank. Yeah. Let's see what he does here. Oh, wait, this hangs up. Wait, takes, takes, king h1, check bishop g. Oh, wait, I gotta, I gotta make sure I'm not blind here. Takes. Queen e3, king h1, check, bishop g2, queen f4. Queen f4, bishop d5, bishop b7. I mean, it looks bishop d7. Check, check, bishop g2, queen f4. Bishop b7, rook b8. Bishop f8, king f8, rook f1. No, I mean, this should just be winning. Just making sure I'm not crazy. Oh, he takes with a knight? What? Well, now I can take some threatening mate in two. Yeah, I'm, thre I'm threatening mate in two, so. But I just have way too much coverage. I mean, I've got the rook covering the second rank. It's way too much coverage. Way too much coverage. So, all right. We're going to get another win. Move to 16 out of 16. If takes, I just take back. Yeah, it's just winning. He needs some ops or more pieces. So, four more to go, you guys. Four more. Do I think that's enough coverage? How many times did I say that? Yeah, like 50 times? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much to that Gotham noob for the 10 months. Thank you so much, Gotham noob. Okay, now the goal is just basically trade off pieces. Let's go queen d1. I mean, he's trying to attack me with a lone queen and a knight. That's just not going to get it done. Go here. Go here. Hit the knight. So much coverage AT&T wants to sponsor you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Four more to go. I think we, we can play four more against this bro, right? Four more should be doable. Go here. Does NRK have cover more coverage than you? <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. I mean, NRK has done some good things, by the way. Like, like no, no caps. Like, they've done some good stuff. Their coverage has been pretty phenomenal um, of some some of the top level events. So they've done a good job. Yeah, they they've done some good they've done some good stuff for chess. Um, go here, knight guards the pawn. I have f6, e6. Position looks very, very decent for me. I can go e6. I can also move my knight at some point. I'm just gonna play f6. Kick the knight out. Uh, I have e6. I have e5. Actually, I should not have played it like this, though, because now... Eh, mm, this is okay, kind of. Kind of okay. I don't really like it that much, but I think it's kind of okay. At least here, I've got a structure where I can move my knight around, but I'm not I'm not enthused by it. Yeah. Uh, big fan didn't see your answer. Uh, wouldn't you find it susp suspicious others play with headset? No, of course not. Go knight f7, c6. But to answer your question, I'll just give you a very plain and simple answer to that. If chess.com feels that it is an issue and they make rules where headsets aren't allowed, I won't wear a headset. Um, but at the end of the day, people also forget that I beat Magnus Carlsen at speech chess championship without a headset in 2022, which I think that in and of itself speaks volumes. So that's the simple answer I'm going to give you guys. Um, I can take and play knight d6. I can play rook c8. I mean, chess.com thinks it's an issue. They can say something. They can change the rules and headsets aren't allowed. 
plain and simple. They clearly don't think it's an issue. So if they don't think it's an issue, why is that my problem? Let's go here and takes takes. Um, this win streak is very unlikely statistically. I know. Tell me about it. I know. Very unlikely. Speaks volumes or it speaks for itself or whatever you want to say. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're saying, it could be, you're saying, oh, it could be, it speaks vol. Ha ha. Ha ha. You're right. I missed that. That's a good one. Good one. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, no, it's not what people are saying. They're saying, they're, they're saying that when I say the volume, they're talking about volume in a headphone. That's a good one. I didn't think about that. Yeah. I, I missed that pun. That's a good pun. Yeah. I missed it. Um, cause I'm too stupid. Okay, let's see. I'll go rook d8, probably knight d4, maybe c5, b5. Um, let's go here and takes, maybe c5, b5. No, I mean, the point, as I said, I beat Magnus Carlsen, I beat Ding Loran, I beat all those guys in the Speed Chess Championship in 2022 um, without a headset on. In 2023, Ali Reza had a headset on, um, and then he was told he couldn't, and I was told I couldn't either. So, of course, both of us stopped having headsets. So, I mean, there's really no drama, honestly, as far as... I mean, I know people are probably trying to make drama, but there's no drama. Um... I have to be careful how I play this because I've kind of misplayed this a little bit. I think I'll go here. Not easy to play. Um, I'm going to go here maybe try to play C4 if I can. Oh, I could have played Rook C6. Why didn't I just go Rook C6, Rook C8? What is wrong with me? I could have played Rook C6, Rook C8. Oh, I'm such an idiot. What, what the heck was this? So stupid by me. Okay, I'm still going to probably win this game, but I've, I've made a real hash out of this. A real hash. A4. Still gonna win, but not happy about this. Thank you so much to Annihilate Prime for the resub. Okay, it goes Knight F3. And I could go back. The tricky position here. But he's got a lot of time, so I do have to be very careful here. It goes E5. I mean. don't really want to take but I think I have to I think I have to do this I don't want to do this but I think I have to do this it's not what I want to do but I think I have to I mean I could have played Bishop F8 too I uh, guess but it's gonna be tricky let's go here uh, I feel like he doesn't know what he's doing by the way because now I get my rook into a3 I go here of course there. I mean, it's still probably not great for me to play this position, but I... Okay, it goes rook c4. Wait, but now I... Oh, no, not king b5. Let's go here. I want to go king b5. I want to take there's knight d5. Maybe it was still okay, though. It was, because I could have played rook b3. If I take, take, and play king d5, that's probably winning, actually. Because f7, I have rook a7. Go here, hit the pawn. Oopsies, there's a check. Oopsies, everything collapses. Another win. Okay, three to go. Let's keep rolling. Here, here. D4, of course. Okay, we're three away. Three more, you guys, for the, uh, wh whatever you guys call it. Double adoption. I don't know if queen a5 threatens, so I'm just going to play queen c1 or rook d1 like I already have. Time to reroute the knight. You call it the double ding. Uh, double, no, that's not what you call it. Let's play knight d3. Take with a bishop. I could take with a bishop or the rook. Doesn't really matter. But I feel like knight e4 maybe is a threat. Um, play, mm, I think I'll just go here. He's going to go a5 anyway, I'm sure. Who's there? Okay, I'll drop back. Go here. Okay, let's go here, I guess. I didn't think this worked, actually, but I, I guess I'm going to sack material here. Um... What am I doing? I think I'll take and go here. I've misplayed this. It goes there. 
Yeah, I've completely bungled this like an idiot. He goes knight d7, however, which I think might be a slight mistake. Do I have bishop d1 here to try and hang on? I think he made a mistake, because now he might have to take. So if I get the knight to b5, he might be in trouble. Goes knight e5. Okay, so if I... Oh, wait, knight... Ah, it's mate and one. Knight b5 hangs mate and one. Let's go here. Mate and one. Jeez. Gotta be careful. This is the this is the easily the most dangerous game I've had so far. Easily. Don't want to trade, but I don't have a good move. I might have to play Queen B2 here. I right, blundered. He could have played queen c4. Yeah, I'm starting to actually slip quite a bit. Yeah, I'm starting to slip. I can feel it. My play has really gone downhill suddenly. Like, these last couple of games, I've played very, very badly. I had rook, a, rook, rook b7, which I also missed. Maybe miss is too strong a word to use, but... Okay, let's see. If I go here... Good news is he's still a little bit slow. Should have played out four. Sorry, you guys, I must focus here. I guess I'll go here and try to push. I don't know what I'm doing, by the way. Found that move very upsetting. Not good. Not good, but it's a win. Two more to go. Let's keep going. Let's go G6. Not good. Very, very bad. No, no queen H3, by the way. No, no free queens here. Let's not hang our queen. Let's go F6. No, no free queens. We're not playing the game called Queens Art. Can I go queen H3 here, by the way? I actually think I can for some reason. An e5. A knight g4. Oh, he doesn't even. Wait, do I have knight g4? Wait. Knight d5. I'm going to go for it. I think it works here, doesn't it? I go g5. It's a little bit risky going for this, by the way, because if I'm wrong, 
I'm going to lose the game. But I can always just kick his knight with e6. Do I have... To? No, I don't have time for e6. Let's go here. No, he's in time here, actually. Or is he? Wait, no, I've got e5h. It's still tricky, actually. Still very messy. I don't actually know what's going He goes d4, but... Okay, wait. Now I have e6. I don't understand. I go e6 and takes. Knight c7, gh. Excuse me? What? Okay, my queen is temporarily trapped on h3, but uh, if this is if this isn't winning for me, I will be I will I will eat my hat, my non-existent hat that I don't possess. Um, okay, let's go f5. I'm threatening to mate him with knight three classic lobster pincer type stuff. I mean, <laughs> if this if this isn't winning. I don't want to play chess. There's also rook h4 looming too. So I take queen g3 mate, rook h4 with the classic penny pin 10 on your chinny chin chin, and this is gg. Bada bing, bada boom. Win the queen or checkmate on the file. Okay, uno mas, uno mas, you guys. We got one more to go. One more for the big uh, for the for the big finale. And this time, let's get back to base with e4. I, I'm going to play the same line. I thought I outplayed him. I'm going to go for it again. I, I don't believe him. Let's go for it. I'm going to do it again. I I, I, I got to do this. Yeah. Kramer getting his calculator as, as a, out as I type. Yeah. I just want to see it because I don't believe him. I legit don't believe him. Yeah. Oh, he gives up. So he gives up. He gives <laughs> he gives up. He gives up kind. I mean, doesn't give up literally, but he kind of gives up by playing this. Yeah, kind of gives up a little bit there with that. That's like a, I don't know how to defend it. I'm just going to give back the piece. He's somehow he's still up a pawn. Wait, how's he? Oh, I guess cuz it's a Mori, he's somehow still up a pawn. Okay, let's see. I can play bishop h6 maybe. 94 95 Again, I've got quick development with these rooks. And the knight's jumping fast. We're going to d5, hit the bishop. I mean, it's still probably a little bit better for black, but not easy to prove. Think of Garlius for the prime. Think of Garlius for the prime. It's probably slightly better for black, but I, I don't think this is clearly better. Yeah. Yeah. It was Bishop G7. Whoa, wow. Whoa, wait a second. Is there Knight G5? Oh, Knight G5, King G8. Queen C4, E6. King G8, Knight E6, maybe. I don't see it, but I got to go for it. Um, Queen C4, E6 is no good. Takes. Probably I should play knight e6. It's not the move that I want to play, but I should probably play it. I also really don't want to trade, but I think I kind of have to. Go here. Still feels like I should be a little bit better. Like queen c3, rook c1. Pressure on the king. Great, great bash in the middle of the board. I did not expect. Uh, Cheggy's got. No, but I've got knight c7. Wait. Okay, let's go here. I don't know if I'm better here, but I feel like I've got a lot of play. I actually don't have a lot of play. Lovely. Let's just go here. Should have just played rook d1 right away. Okay, I'm going to go f4, try to open up the center of the board here, do something. 
He's getting low on time, though, again. So I, I have pretty good chance to win, I think. Let's take... Probably takes with the knight. He takes with the rook. Okay, let's go. Go here. I have a 50-50 gamble on the next turn. I'm debating whether to go for the gamble or not. I have a 50-50. Let's go for the 50-50 with the H3. He saw it. I, I was hoping he wouldn't see this. Still figure I can probably find some way to win. Let's go check. Try to gamble that he wouldn't play rookie A, but he did. Oh, uh, what am I... Now I'm just actually blundering. Now I'm just throwing the game. Oh, great. But he's low on time. Forty, thirty-nine, thirty-eight. If only I could play knight g four and made him, but I can't. Let's go here. There's d five, which I absolutely hate. Considering the time situation, he's insane to play d five. You're absolutely insane to go d five. I think, or maybe he's not insane because pieces do stay on the board. Which actually, I don't. Maybe that's a good thing for him. I don't know. Um, how do I do this? Knight d four is a move I don't want to play. I'm gonna go here. Here, I guess. It's too slow. I'm, I'm very lucky. He's too slow. If this guy had any any speed whatsoever. I would I would be nowhere near where I am right now. Yeah, he's just too slow. And now he blunders. He's just too slow. Very lucky. Very lucky. Very, very lucky. All right, you guys. So that gets us to an even 20-0, bumping our rating up to 3270, which is pretty good. I am going to go take a short break for a little bit. Just trying to get a few games before we start. Just a few games. <coughs> Not a lot. Let's go E4. Get E5. Let's go Bishop C4. Probably have time for like two or three games, depending. Let's play D3. Let's go Knight C3. Uh, I'll play H3, Knight E2, or Knight F3. Let's go Knight E2 this game. <clears throat> Castle, of course. Let's go here. Trade the bishops and play Knight D5. If you win this match, I will sub. Okay, thank you. That's great to hear. I'll do my best. <clears throat> did I blunder Bishop H3 is a question. I don't think I did, but it may be a blunder. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll find out, I guess you could say. He goes Knight E7. Okay, this must be a mistake. Let's hit the pawn on f6. He could castle, I guess. Knight g8 maybe is a move. Maybe. But queen f3, knight d5. It looks pretty, pretty sketch for black. Um, Any thoughts on the Harbor Present resignation? Not really. I'm not following it super closely. I mean, I, maybe you guys expect me to say something. I, I, I don't know a whole lot about it. So uh, he takes with a bishop. Now, I could take with a bishop. I could also take with a pawn here. Um... I mean, pawn takes is probably good, but honestly, against this level of player, I think I should just take with the bishop and hit the pawn. <clears throat> take with the knight. There's knight e7 with the fork. If I get the bastion with the knight on f5, this should be very, very smooth sailing. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really know. So, I mean, you guys are kind of, it's like almost preaching to the choir, if that's the right word. I mean, I, I just don't know much about it. Thank Kalmok for the two months. Let's take. Okay, now I've got a great position. I think I could take. I can also go g5. Actually... Have I misplayed this a little bit as a question? Um, <clears throat> go g5. Yeah, let's go g5 here. Maybe king h2. I don't know if I've played this very well. I feel like this is a dark arts kind of game where I'm trying to play kind of on the squares a little bit. Hard to judge whether this is actually good or not, but I'm, I'm trying to play on the, play on the uh, dark squares here. So... Title Tuesday coming up. I should be registered already. So let's go king here, maybe. There's, there's knight f6. There's f4 as well. Oh, preaching to the choir is something else. Okay, sorry. Maybe I'm stupid. I'm going knight f6. <clears throat> I can play f4, maybe. I can also go king h3, king h4. I think I'm just going to slowly walk my king up the board. <clears throat> Uh, but does your opponent have the defense against the dark arts? Unclear right now. It seems not likely. Yeah, they need Benjamin for the 38 month reset. Let's go here. Pressure on the center of the pawn on g5. Very secure, by the way. Now I can go f4, takes e5. Very, very pleasant position. I should just be much better here. Maybe not winning on the spot, but much better at the very least. 
Prize money for title Tuesday comes from uh, uh, comes from chess.com, uh, the company. Let's take, let's go D4, fix a weakness on the light square, C3, chain of three, rook F5 incoming this is all very, very bad for my opponent. Very, very bad. So should should win pretty soon. Should get a quick win here. Uh, let's go check, create the classic kebab. I have G6, G7, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. He'll probably resign here if I had to guess. So we get the quick win. Let's go again. Probably time to play two more games. Let's play D5. Play this D4. Okay, I can play C5. Um, let's play Knight F6. Okay, I think I'm going to go A6 this time. Probably play like E6. I also have Bishop G4 to hit the Knight. Then E6 should be completely reasonable with Knight C6. Um, I guess let's take and go like E6 maybe. I can always trade the pawns. Knight C6 looks fine here. Bishop D6 incoming. It all looks fairly standard. So it's all pretty good here. Thank you so much to Hughes D for the four months. Thank you so much to Hughes D. Appreciate it. Thank you for the resub. Now, I can take and go Bishop B4 if I want to. I don't know if it's the best way to play, but it's what I'm going to do here. Play like Rook C8 maybe. Okay, let's go um, <clears throat> Rook C8. Let's take of takes. I think I have 95 Knight F3, for example. Yeah, there's just 95, knight f3, and rook c2. So he takes with the pawn. I go knight a5. I'm going to create a nice little bash in here as well as a classic connect 5 from g8 to c4. Uh, let's just castle, play h6 next move. Should be completely fine. I'm so glad that Dudar refused to shake the hand of the Russian player who had openly advocated for the war in Ukraine. I am aware of that. Um, okay, bishop f4. Okay, how do I do this? I guess knight c4 looks good. Try to bring the knight back towards the center, maybe slowly but surely. Um... I can go queen a5, which looks fine. Maybe rook c6, rook c8. The rook c6 right away is probably a little bit better, but I want to pressure this pawn immediately on c3 if I can. Okay, let's go here, hit the queen. <clears throat> looks very bad for my opponent. I think I just take. I've got g5. I'll take on e4, I guess. I queen d4 doesn't look right, so let's go here. Let's take. I think I should take here. If trade, I should be up a pawn here. Um, I don't. If he takes, takes rook a two. I have rook c eight. Looks good as well. So terrible remake of a song. I apologize. Sorry, you guys. But anyway, um, yeah. Goes a five. I can take. I can play knight d three. I mean, the thing here is, how do I win? And I think this is the easiest way to win is to play for the dark arts with the good knight versus the bad bishop. Um, would I shake his hand if I if I knew his background? Probably not. Let's take and go rook c7, rook d8, rook d7. A lot of weak pawns for my opponent. Some kebabs looming on the fifth rank as well. So, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. All this grind, lose all the points in the late title Tuesday. Sure, but it's fun. It's still fun. I mean, the only thing that's tricky about it is that Duda not shaking his hand. Like, they could they could forfeit Duda. Duda could get a punishment for Fide for not doing that because you're supposed to shake your opponent's hand. So that's the only part of it that's a little bit um that's a little bit messy. And that's what I respect Duda for. Because Fide could be like, you didn't shake his hand, you broke that you broke the rules. Like, and just say, say tell him that, like, you know, that's it. No more. Um now I can go F5 here, which is a move. I think it's actually a good move. Cause I want I just want to go rook f6, rook g6 at some point. Uh Anna Musichuk and Gunina didn't shake hands. Okay. Fair enough. All right, 47 seconds left for my opponent. Uh, let's go here. <clears throat> I think I just slowly bring my king in. I mean, I assume I should be winning somehow. Let's go here. Oh, I feel like I've misplayed this somehow. I think e5 should be good enough. I take king e6, rook d4, rook g4 should be winning. Yeah, let's take... This is like 37 wins in a row. While I'm actually playing people who are much weaker than usual, too. It's not like they're kind of weak. They're a lot lower rated. These are much weaker opponents now. I go here, collect the juice, or take the pawn. Should be another win. But again, just proving a point. Let's go here in G5. It proves another point, doesn't it, eh? Let's walk the king over. Yeah, these streaks, the so impossible, right? Thank you so much to D1 Hayut for the prime. So impossible. Let's go King D5 and King C5 and King C6. Um... 
Actually, how do I win here? That's an interesting question. Um, I think I'm gonna go B6 and takes. This isn't the cleanest way to win, but this should be winning. Start pushing. Go here. I can start to use the wide peoples as well, because now I can, I can go check, and now I can also go A4 check, and <clears throat> basically we're gonna have the same problem. I go check F3, and now I'm just gonna slowly run my king back over. I was split the pawns again. Let's go A3. Let's run the king straight up, and we get another win. All right, time for one more game before Title Tuesday. Um, let's let's play E4 again. I, I liked my position last game. Go D3 here. Go here. I'll play A3. Not the only move, but it's one of the moves you can play. Go Knight C3. He'll probably play Bishop E6. I will castle. Now, the thing is, I could take. This is what I played against. What's his name? Against. Um, I play this against somebody. Now, I could take and go knight g5, which is kind of interesting, actually. I think I'm going to go knight e4, knight g5, though, like this. <clears throat> Mac is online, then he's definitely playing Title Tuesday. He was not online for the last few hours, so if he's online, he's just going to late join with like 30 seconds left again, as usual. Goes there. I mean, d4 is what I want to play, so I'm going to play d4, try to open up the center of the board. There's bishop g5, there's knight c5. Uh. I guess I'll just, uh, I guess I'll take and play H. I don't know if this is actually good, but it looks okay. Plays 97. Now, of course I can take a pawn here. Hmm. I guess I'll just go H to force him to trade. <clears throat> here, I'm going to go Rook D1, overpress the Knight on D5. C4, big threat. Bishop G5, big threat. Queen H5, big threat. A lot of big threats. Like, I'm not necessarily sure that I'm much better here, but I should be better. I need to wish Nadal comma for the tier one. Um, actually, I realize I kind of misplaced. So I'm just going to go knight g3 and slow it all down here. Actually, I could have traded. Oh, I could have traded and gone knight c3, I think. Actually, no. Sorry. If I had gone takes knight c3, there might have been knight f3 and queen e1 mate. So maybe not. Okay. I'm, obviously, I'm happy to play an end game here with the... Uh, Wait, okay. So I just take and go knight f5. Now now I've got, he's got a weak pawn. His pawns are kind of weak everywhere. I have knight e3. Knight e3. D4, king f1, d3, king. I think this is fine. I'm just going to go king f1 and trap the rook. Unless I'm blundering something very obvious, I should be winning here. Yeah, king f1 traps the rook, I think. And if he goes d4, yeah, king f1, knight f4, rook d4, I just win the game. There's no rook e1 anymore. Knight's hanging, rook's loose, it's gg. I think I'm going to gamble and play one more game after this. I think we have time for one more, assuming he resigns right now. Yeah, I mean, let's, let's go here and bishop g5. I mean, he'll probably resign, right? Or not? Okay. Never mind. Then we don't have time for another one. Unless he resigns this game in the next 30 seconds, basically, we don't have time for another game. And he's not going to. Yeah, he's not going to. I mean... Oh, just go here and take. Yeah. I mean, unless my time... I still have 450... Now it's 455. I mean, unless he resigns, like, right here... Just no, no chance we get another one off. Uh, let's go here, trade. Back. Go here, pressure the bishop. Let's go here, hit the rook. <clears throat> Yeah, we're, we're not going to have time. It's way too risky. Um, way too risky trying to play another game. So, oh, let's just go back. <laughs> I could play C4 here. C3, of course, is more than enough as well. Let's just go C3. Um, actually, I can't go Rook D4. Let's go... 
back here, I guess. Yeah, I've kind of misplaced a little bit. I need to be a little bit more careful. I need Concube Spines for 39 month resub. I need to be a little bit careful here. So I guess I'll go here. Takes, I've check. There, I mean. I guess I'll just go here. It's not the only move that's winning, but it's one of the many. Let's go here, hit the bishop, but now I get king e4, hit the rook, gg. So I'll go here. Just take a pawn. I mean, all, all, all roads lead to Rome, so I'm just going to play bishop e5 to trade off pieces. Let's just take... Yeah. All right, we got the win. I don't think I have time for another game because now it's 456. I mean, trying to win a game in four minutes, not realistic. That's shocking, but whatever. Let's keep going. Okay, let's play knight f3. I, I, did, I didn't think a king was a word, actually. I assumed it wasn't a word, but whatever. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. Okay, let's go g3. Round number one. Let's play uh, some kind of King's Indian. He's going to play this one. I'm going to play A3 again. This is not normally what I would do. I'm trying to play something a little bit weird. I'm going to take and play this. <clears throat> na, 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 This looks very dubious for my opponent now. Oh, I had to stop knight d5 because now the bishop guards the knight when I recapture if he takes. Okay. Um, knight d4 makes sense. He can always go e5. Then I think I go knight b3, knight a5. Queen c8. Logical. Let's play rook c1. Not worried about bishop h3 here, by the way, because I can always just trade. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have allowed it, but whatever. I'm trying to just move very fast. Magnus did late. Magnus did join, right? I don't see Magnus's game. Oh, did Magnus not join? I don't see Magnus. I don't see Mag. Did he not join? Wait, let's take. By the way, my opponent just blundered the game. Did he not join? I don't. See His game should show up above mine because he would be the number one seed. Maybe he didn't join. How bizarre. Time to change that song. I think I've got that song in here, right? Let's see. How bizarre. There we go. What the dum bum 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 Let's go here and take Yay Hunger just took five dollars out of Bezos's pocket. Thanks. Oh I just blundered. What the heck? Oh my gosh. I was just winning oh my gosh, I just blundered for no reason. I'm still fine, but I just threw away the extra pawn I had. I'll I'll win the game anyway, but very, very sloppy. Very sloppy. Should have played C7. Very sloppy start for me, but whatever. Still win the game, so it's all good, I guess. Oh. It goes Queen C4. Um, I can trade and go Knight A5. I mean, I assume this is just good. Hit the pawn. I can play Rook D1. Eventually, I assume I'll win the game. I don't really know how, but I assume I will. Could have played knight d5, knight, knight d5 might have been good too, but whatever. Okay, this is just bad. Um, Take, 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 and just win the game. Crazy, crazy, my look around, every time I look around. It okay, goes there, uh, a4 is prob, uh, no, a4 is bishop f8, don't be too cocky. Let's go, let's all go here. F4 is maybe simpler, but th this should be good. Um, okay, now it's time to start pushing P up the board, like B5, B6. This should just be winning. I mean, I can always take... Hmm. Actually, this isn't so easy. Why do I feel like I've... Why do I feel like I've messed it? Oh, maybe I can take, take? Still not easy. Wait, or maybe I just wait a second. Wait, I also have this. No, then King is. Eh. Okay, this is three. This is three plus one. So I, I need to think a little bit. This should be working because I just take and go B seven. 
So I don't move the king to like here and then I go here or rookie two. Should be good enough. Should be good enough. I also have a classic box and a double right triangle here as well. In my face. B7 maybe also is good enough too, but this should be fine. He's using a lot of time here looking for a solution. Okay, it goes there, but that's not that's not it. So now I go B7, Rook B5, and it's very easy. Actually, now A4, D6, A5, C6, A6. Yeah, I'm in time. Ooh, baby. All right, round two. Let's let's see. We get okay. I'm gonna play G6, something simple here. Um, let's go here. H4. Um, I'm gonna play H6. Normally I go H5 here, but we're playing Schmack Attack. Schmack Attack. Go here. Probably Knight C6. Or oops, I almost accidentally premium. It's a good thing I didn't. Goes Queen D2. Uh, I'm gonna go B5. Bishop B7 and Knight F6. Try to attack right away. <clears throat> Feels like I need to be really quick here in the center of the board if I can. Probably, okay, it goes, I could play B4 here, but somehow it doesn't feel right. So I'm gonna go Knight D7. I should have played E6, by the way, yeah. Uh, I've already misplayed this a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go for this. My Knight on G8 is a little bit iffy. Let's see. If E6, I just take, I assume. I'll pre-move it in case he does it. It goes there. I mean, I'm just going to develop normally. I don't know if this is good, by the way, but I'm probably going to play some version of a Bond Cloud. But I think I, maybe I'm already okay, actually, because I can just go King D7 and hide the King. We're going to hide the King here, play like Queen G8 to guard the pawn, put a Knight on D5, and I think I'm, maybe I'm already okay here. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe. Because now I'm playing a little bit of a bond club, but I've got a lot of pawns. So, like, I've got this pocket of pawns or linemen for defense here, and we'll see what he does. He goes there. Queen G8 looks like it's simply a correct move to go rook f8, activate the rook. Also, knight d5, also e5 to hit the diagonal, too, maybe. Maybe b4, e5, some combo. But we'll see. We'll see. I think my position's relatively okay. So I've got a nice pocket here for the king. Like, the, there's a lot of pocket protection. And I don't know why I'm using football now. Just so I think a greasy girl for the prime thing, an anonymous, but I am. So I've got a nice pocket here for the king, and I'll keep my king in the pocket, unlike, say, the, uh, unlike, say, Russell Wilson of the Denver Broncos, who, for whatever reason, the moment he sees a sees slight pressure, he just, like, panics and loses his mind, and the pocket collapses. Let's go knight to d5 here. I will take... I could take with the knight, but I'll take with the bishop to consolidate the pawn at f5. I have rook f8 next move. Um, yeah, I know some people, unfortunately, chat can't talk right now, but I know some people are be like, did you really just say that? How dare you insult Russell Wilson? But I'm just gonna be honest, the, the bro, he's not it. He's not him. He's not him. Um, problem for me here is I don't have an easy way to play. I'm gonna go Rook C and C5. This might not be right, by the way, but I'm trying to activate here. I've got to get aggressive. If you're in take, I guess. I don't know if this is okay or not. It was Bishop D4. Oh, that's a very... Oh, shoot. That might be a very good move. Uh-oh. Do I have E5, E6? Maybe, maybe not. I have Bishop... No, I don't have Bishop F3 either. Jeez. Oh, great. Did I just throw this game away for no reason? I might have. Queen G4. Yeah, this is bad, actually. This is legit bad. This is actually really bad. Oh, great. Um, I think I have to go for something like this. Oh, he takes with a rook, which I think is a mistake. I was expecting to take with a knight. Now, I'm going to try to hide my king, maybe. 
He should have taken with the knight. If he took with the knight, I think I was lost, actually. But now, now the king is the juice is loose a little bit. The king is kind of running away. And now he's completely messed up. Now, now I should be fine. Yeah, now I should be completely fine. Got to put the rooks on the open lanes. Or the open files, I should say. Expected that. I could take on g2. I'm going to go here to pressure the pawn on c2 as well. He's got b4 or something as well. It's 94 logical. Take. Let's go here. Consolidate my pawn structure. Everything's a little bit... It's a little bit unstable, but I think I'm okay. I also have 94. Oh, then you can... Push b4. Shoot, that's... A, uh, I don't have rook c2. And I guess I go here to hold everything. Kind of. It feels very, very loose. I'm not going to lie. Everything feels a little bit loosey-goosey here, but maybe I'm okay. Go here just to hold the knights, and now I can activate the rook, maybe. Okay, but that gives me rook f2, which I think is a mistake. Maybe not a big mistake, but okay, let's go here, I guess. There's a second pawn that I can capture. Maybe just here. I should win now. It goes king b1. Okay, let's go here maybe. Now knight c3, big threat. Take knight c3, epic threat. I think this is epic game, epic GG actually. Check. Does knight e4 win? I think knight e4 does win, but we can always just go for the tickle tickle. Now let's double check. Now, oh, but now he has queen a5. Oh, shoot. Oh, he's got queen a5 now. Ah, I suck at chess. Let's go here. Knight e4 is winning with the file closing. Um, if I go knight c3, it's just a threefold. I got to be careful. One, one. This would only be two if I play that, but I have rook d5 as well. So I've got the fork with knight c3. Okay, so check and take. Check, play the end. This end game must be winning. Check. Okay, now it's time to just slow down and think. Let's go here. I mean, I've got all day here, basically. Hit all the pawns. Here. Take. Check. GG. Okay, two out of two. Thank you to Kavita for the two months. Thank you to Barely Bull for the prime. Two out of two, not great play, but it's still somewhat decent. Yeah, so I got to get to 10 out of 10 to go for glory. You know, let's play Knight F3. Yeah, 10 out of 10 is glory. Or, sorry, no, 8 out of 8. Sorry. Not impossible to get out of 8. Yeah. Statistics say it's not possible. Yeah, yeah. Actually, what? I I guess I'll still play G3. I'll move 2. Let's go G3. Playing a lot of Knight F3, G3 today just to avoid theory. Okay, let's play Kings in the Attack, I guess. Playing I am Gustavo, 2814. Play E4 and Castle. Concentrate, concentrate. Be serious, concentrate. I know, tell me about it. Go here. Go H4, H5, H6. Start pushing the P. This is one of the personal favorites of Gary, or Gary, Fi no, not Gary Fisher, uh, Bobby Fisher, the famed American junior player. Er, Came to American World Chess Champion. Let's go to H2. I should have played Bishop F4 first, but okay, let's go C4 here. Interesting structure. Not clear cut, by the way. Yeah, I, like Junior. Bob, Bobby Fisher was a Junior American. He's like, he was the greatest Junior American chess player of all time, right? Let's play Knight H4. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to play Bishop F4 next move. Kind of annoying. Actually, when I went to take a nap earlier, I hurt my neck. My neck is suddenly like really stiff and doesn't feel great, but we keep going. <sighs> Goes there. I mean, I don't know. Bishop f4 looks like a pretty obvious move to Casal. I could have played f4, f5, 2 maybe, but I don't know. Bishop f4 just seems right. Kind of somehow. Okay, let's go here. I can obviously take. 
I really like my position, by the way. I assume at some point I can go g4, g5, or maybe queen d2 first. We'll see what he does. Only problem for me is I'm not really sure how to proceed. How do I start attacking him? Like, I can go knight g4 here. Um, I can put my other knight. Actually, I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to put my other knight on e4, maybe. And I also have g4, g5 looming. Yeah, I think this is actually what I should do. I should go g4, g5. I could have done it right away, too. But I think my I think my idea should be to play g4, g5. It goes there. Go here. Pressure the queen, obviously. Don't want to allow any weird business. Yeah, I think now I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go g4. If f6, I just take. Takes, takes, 95. That should be good for me, but we'll see if it actually is good. See if he plays f6 here or not. He could take on c4 too, I suppose. But then I take and I've got rook b1. I'll pre... Okay, it goes g5. Wow, what a move. Um, What a move. I was not expecting that. Um, Is that actually a good move? That might be a very good move. I, I That might be a very good move. I think I'm going to have to go G5. I don't really like this concept, but I think I have to try and put a knight on E4 immediately. I think this is okay, though, but we'll see. Not 100% not sure about this one, but I'm trying to put a knight here on F6. I've got a great bash in square. If I can get a bash on F6, I win. Knight F5 hangs a juicer. We'll see. I'll pre-move King G2. I think it's a safe pre-move. I don't really know how he stops it either, because 94 is just incoming fast and furious here. I thought this just... Wait, doesn't this just hang the pawn, or am I stupid? No, he just hung the pawn, and now he just loses, because now H5 falls, Queen H8, 94. D's knights are all up in his business, and immediately it's just a loss. Just a, Actually, just flat-out loss for my opponent. Nothing he can do here. Just flat-out resigns. Yeah, flat out GG. Not not even remotely close. So it was good. Three out of three. Um, I can go knight e4. Uh, knight e4. There's knight f. No, but I mean this this should be good. I just get this knight up in here, get the knight in into the game, and trade. I can just take. I guess. I'm also threatening g6 and queen h7 to mate him with a lobster pincer. So let's see what else he can do. I could just go g6 right now. Yeah, let's just go g6 and go for mate. I mean, I can obviously check. I think I'll just take, keep the check in reserve, basically. Um, go here, hit the rook. I don't know. Somehow, if this isn't winning, I don't know what winning is. I also have rook h1 to mate him on the h file with the double stack. Yeah, it should just be gg. I don't see any moves that he can really go for. Now let's just go here. Let's go for checkmate with queen h8, and it should just be gg on the spot. Classic lobster pincer. Can I sack? I don't really want to meme, but can I meme here and sack? G7, rook h1. Well, let's let's meme. Let's keep the meme dream alive. Here, and I'm going for mate. And I don't think he can do anything. I check. And mate. There we go. Good stuff. Three out of three. Let's keep going. Uh, 29 20 I guess I'll just go g6 Bishop g7 it's worked so far why not um now nah, let's play c6 d5 let's try to play something a little bit different here he could go c4 obviously as well go here in d5 Oblad D, Oblad Da, life goes on, yeah. La 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 la, life goes on. Oblad D, Oblad Da, life goes on, right. La 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 la, life goes on. I mean, everybody's here for the music, actually. They're not here for the chess, because the chess is very subpar. 
I guess I'll go here. I know C4 is interesting, but I think D5 is right. Blah, da, life goes on, right? La, 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 life goes on. Oh, blah, D, oh, blah, da, life goes on, right? La, 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 life goes on. C4, I'll go knight C7, by the way. I'm playing against this weak pawn, potentially, depending. Home. Goes there. I could play rook c8, maybe. Bishop f8, c5 also in play. Let's just, eh. Am I worried about b4 is a question. Mm, I don't know if I am, so I'm just going to go here. Not sure if he's playing b4 or not. Okay, so let's go here. I'm going to try to reroute my knight or something. Oh, blah, D. Oh, blah, da. Like, I don't know why I did this. I could have just gone Bishop F5 and Bishop F8. I don't know why I did this. Because now the pawn, is it, he doesn't have to worry about it. Oh, blah, da. Life goes on. Right. La, 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 la. Life goes on. Oh, blah, D. Uh, he somehow let me get a Bishop on, I get a wooden shield for no reason. I've got this nice wooden shield in the middle of the board. And I've also got a Bastion as well to hit everything. Ah, uh, if I take, he's going to take with a knight. Uh-huh, okay. And do I try to expand maybe on the king's side? Maybe I'm going to try to start pushing P. Hmm. I think I'm going to go here and try to put the bishop here, maybe. Not easy to play. Oh, blah, D. Oh, blah, da. Life goes on, right? La, 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 life goes on. Oh, blah, D. Oh, blah, da. Life goes on, right? La, 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 life goes on. Okay, maybe I line up a battery, or maybe I go here and infiltrate on the file. Maybe I go to David 96 NL for the tier one. I mean, Queen E6, Queen E2 looks good. Bishop F4 looks good. Take with a bishop. I mean, can I get in here with Knight F4? I'm going to try to get in. I'm going to try to sneak in here with, like, some pressure. Also, as Gary Kasparov, the former world champion, said, a knight on f4 is worth at least a pawn. So, this knight on f4 looks very scary. In fact, I think I might be close to winning, especially with the wooden shield looming with bishop d5 to put the maximum pressure on his king side. So, we've got to go back. Previous song was good. Let's go back. We've got to do it again. Doom, 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 doom. I can check. I can play bishop d5. I can also go queen e6 here. I can sack maybe, but it doesn't look right. Nice. Oh, wait. If I sack my mate... Wait, wait, wait. Maybe... Wait. Takes, takes, takes. There's queen h2. This is just winning, I think. Let's take. I don't think you can stop the two b's are too powerful here. B. Oh, blah, da. Life goes on. Right. La, 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 la. Life goes on. We got the win. Let's play Le Bishop's opening in honor of the great bishops. He's going to play this. We'll go here. I can play h3. I can play knight f3. I'm just going to play h3. I'm going to play something very slow and boring. Uh, let's go knight e2. Um, I guess I'll play a4. I don't even know if a4 is right, but I'll do it anyway. Yeah. It's castle. I mean, it's d5, but I just drop back. Or I take and go bishop b5. It's still bishop g5 somewhere as well. Okay, so I don't really want to trade the bishops. I don't really want to go bishop g5 either. I don't really want to go knight f5. But queen f3 looks reasonable. No d5 here. Go knight f5. I don't even know if this is good, by the way. But it looks playable, so I'll do it anyway. Because I feel like there are tricks. Those... Whoa, 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 wait a second. Do I have bishop g5? Okay, wait a second. Now this is getting exciting. Um... I don't know. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to play like a Michael Tal. Michael Tal would approve of this idea. Just go for the kill. The pure Michael Tal style chess. Those of you guys who aren't familiar with Michael Tal, he was a former world chess champion from uh, Riga, Latvia, referred to as the, uh, I think he was a magician from Riga. And Michael would always play these crazy sacrifices. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to play a sacrifice in, in the spirit of Michael Tal. I don't know if it's any good, by the way, but... Nobody cares, really. I think it will land over the front. Wow, he rejects it. He does not actually take. So he was he was scared. He believed in my voodoo. Um, hmm. 
I guess I'll go here. I don't know if rook AD1 or FD1's right, but it goes queen E8. I really want to play B3 and D4 here for some reason. Yeah, I'm going to go B3, maybe. If D5, I can just take and go bishop B5. I mean, this is getting very, very spicy. I thought... Oh, I thought I could play D4, but I can't. Wait, I thought I could go for that, but I can't. Um... Shoot, I've misplayed this a little bit. Um, go here. Uh, go knight h6. I'm going to go for it. I can go bishop e3 too. Um, and also maybe take on e6 and play bishop. Maybe I... No, if I take, he's got fg5 or something. Mm, I gotta move, I gotta move, you gotta go, you gotta go. Go here. Takes, I mean, it's still very, very tricky. I don't know what's going on, kind of. Take, if d5, I take and go bishop b5, and I think I'm okay there. If he takes, I take. It's a very, very tricky position for both sides to play here. very imbalanced he's using up a lot of time here i mean i guess ed5 is a safe pre-move if he does it. i don't think he will but it's a safe pre-move he goes f5 okay of course i take of course i take okay he takes now i have f4 i can also trade and play f4 here i can also take and go d4 okay i probably have to take this much is clear i have to go f4 here i have to play rook f2 I mean, very tricky position here. I guess I just... Wait, I can take and play f4. Hmm. I don't like my position, to be honest. Um. Okay, rook f2 looks correct. Eh. I can play rook f1. I mean, c4 is a move. g3 is a move. Ay, yeah, yeah, this is dangerous. Um, la di da di da di la di da di da di da di da di da. I guess I'll go here. This is tricky, very tricky position. I have knight c3, I have rook g1, I also have c4. I don't think queen d5 is a very good move because I think now I'm gonna be able, I think now I'm gonna be able to trade and go d4. It's very, very murky. Um, I think I'm going to take and go d4. It's going to get very unclear. I'll take. I'll go d4. Or rook e1 also made a move, but I think I just go d4. Yeah, I'm just going to trust my instinct and play d4 here. If I take and get the knight to f4, I win the game. If he goes f4, I can play queen c3. That's one move. I can also go queen... Not queen d3, of course. Queen... F3 looks so high. He's going to... Wait. Let's okay, let's see. Um, Queen E4 is also maybe a move here. Queen E4. F3, Queen F3. Rook G2, Rook G2. Yeah, I don't see it, so I'm going to go for it. If Knight F6, I just take, and then I take, and I'm fine. That's what he does here. I mean, either I'm completely fine here, or I'm in a lot of trouble. There's no in-between. But the longer he uses, the more likely it becomes that I'm just actually doing very well. Using a lot of time. Yeah, the more time he uses, the more likely it is that I'm actually just much better here. Because it, 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 his moves, my moves are reactionary to whatever he does. But this just allows me to take the pawn and go queen f4, I think. Knight c5, queen, queen f3. Queen f4 also is good, I think. Yeah, I don't get it. Unless I'm blundering something very obvious. I have queen f4 here. I also have queen f3. I'm just going to go here. Here. I think this works. Takes, takes, takes. 
He's getting too low on time. Rookie eight, rookie one. I think this should be working. Knight three, I just take. He's too low. I'm, I'm going to win. Yeah, let's go here. Yeah, there we go. We got the win. I think that was good, right? Yeah, it was, it was good. But I messed this up. I think I was better here. Ah, I was supposed to take the pawn. Supposed to go queen f4. Yeah, it's still better, but at rook f6, it's it's not easy to win. Yeah, but whatever. It's a win. Let's keep going. You think of PH Pimentel? Obviously, it makes winning Title Tuesday a nightmare, but fact is, I, I won so many Title Tuesdays, and so many strong players play it now. So it's uh, it's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. I need a Benny for the Prime. Yeah, thanks so much to Benny. I get Mashana, good old Alexei Serrano, who I've played many times, by the way. I lost him in um the World World Blitz, I think it was in 2021 when I missed this Queen G6, 2022 rather. This backwards check for the lolly mate, but let bygones be guy bygones. Uh, I'm gonna play a Dutch again. He's all, he's never played well when I played the Dutch against him, so I'm gonna go C6 here. Something slow. He can obviously take. Um go here. I'm gonna play E5. Go H6. All very normal so far. Let's go here. Queen E8 maybe is slightly better just to break the pin, but I'm not really worried about it at the moment. Um, let's go here. Maybe Bishop F7 and Knight BD7 seems fine. And it's chess. C5, probably Knight D7. Okay. I guess I'll just play here. Got to be a little bit careful about these pawn breaks in the center of the board. Um, let's go here. It goes B3. I kind of expect that. Now, the key here is what to do. I think I'm going to go here. Oh, did I blunder G4? Ah, great. I did, didn't I? Oh, shoot. I did blunder this. Um, Should have played Bishop F7. Just think. If I go G5, Bishop G3, Bishop F2... Problem is 97 is also d5. That's the big issue that I have here. Um, I think I'm just gonna go here. Because now I can go knight h7 because d5 takes, takes, takes. At the end, there's no uh, fossil because the king's no longer on g8, or no pin because the king's not on g8. That's what he does. I guess I pre-move this in case he takes. It was knight g3. I kind of expect him to do that. I thought I might have some g5 here. I have a feeling this isn't right, though, somehow. I have a feeling he's misplayed this. And I don't know why, but I just, it doesn't feel right. Um, so ed4, ed4, g5. I go g5, takes, takes, takes. Knight f5, knight h5. And that's very, very sharp. 5, d5, queen g6. X, knight c5, bishop c I mean, this is very, very sharp. I don't have a lot of time to think. That's the other problem with the position. Um, not e4. f4 is no good. So what are the candidate moves? There's knight h7. Or there's like g5. That's pretty much it. You can take, take, and play. Oh, maybe I should take, take, and play. Actually, maybe I should take, take, and go knight h7 because of the diagonal. Actually, I think this is correct. Because now the diagonal's open. Hopefully I'm not crazy. But the diagonal is open here now. My king's safe, so there's none of this nonsense with a pin. And this diagonal is open. I mean, it's going to get very, very sharp. I guess I'll pre-move this in case he plays d5. Maybe not. I, I don't know. This is very, very sharp. It was 92. I was, I think D5, Knight B5 will kind of go, but he didn't do it. So he goes 92. So the problem for me here is how do I get rid of the stupid threat on the diagonal? I could go D5 to force him to play C5, but it doesn't look right. It's what Gata would do, actually. Gata would play D5 for sure here. Um, 
G5 is a move. D5 is the gotta move. Um, do I play the gotta move or not? Not to be confused with the god move, by the way. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the gotta move. Let's play D5. It was King G2, which is interesting. Um, so he's trying to go Knight F4 maybe or not. I don't actually know what's happening here. I guess I'll go here. Because Knight F4, I can still just take. Like, it's getting very, very murky. I don't actually know what's going on here either. Like, it's so complex. Let's take. Because he's walking into a pin on the file. That's the thing. Like, there, there's this massive pin. Whoa, can he get away with this? Wow. Um, here. Takes. Ah, oh, that's a good move. Shoot. Oh, great. Did I blunder? I think I did. Have to take. Probably in trouble here, but. Maybe I can still save it, though. This looks scary, but maybe it's okay. Actually, the more I think about it, the more I think I'm okay, because I have bishop f6 to force this bishop off. And his king is very, very weak. So maybe I'm actually okay here. He's getting a little bit low on time, too, now. And he's getting low on time. I think I should be okay. He goes queen d2. There's queen f5 or bishop f6. I think bishop f6 looks right to me. Now let's go here. Oh, no, that's a blunder. Oh, no, that's a blunder by me. Oh, he take. That was definitely a blunder, but I'm going to survive. I think he could have taken and taken h6, but whatever. Okay, do I take with a queen or do I take with a king? Also a big question. I think I'll take with a king. Yeah, now I'm okay here, actually. I'm fine. Now I just got to focus and just be quiet. Um, Let's go here. Got a pass pawn potentially. Let's see, I can play here. I think rook d8 must be right. Oh, I missed that. Shoot, I missed that move. Um, I gotta go here. Oh, great, I messed this up. The heck. Okay, I just gotta move fast now. Oh, I tricked him! Oh my god, I tricked him! Oh my god, I just tricked him. Oh my god, I just tricked him. Oh my god. I just tricked him with knight f5 and rook g5 and he gets he gets mated. Um, okay, let's go here. Just gotta stay focused here. No, no stupid blunders. Check. Go here. Yeah, now I just win. Uh, it doesn't even matter. Just go here and take. Still losing. go we got the win I was completely lost in that game miracles though you use D you use these knights and sometimes you get lucky yeah he, <laughs> king f5 wow yeah I was I was actually in real trouble that game okay we get Sando blue we're on six out of six trying to go for win number 45 in a row let's get going let's get it okay what do I want to do I can play e5 Let's play a con. Let's play the con. And it, th there must be some Trekkies in chat. So let's play the classic con Sicilian in honor of all those Trekkie fans. I am also playing in honor of God of Kamsky, the famous freaking legend. Let's go here. Yeah. Um, 
Okay, which line do I want to play? There's so many different ways to play this. I think I'm going to play the old line, which is knight f6, knight c6. Play the old line with takes and bishop c6. There's some Fabiano idea, right, in here, where I think you sack. I think you sack, like, a pawn or something. He has this against Ariantari. You sack some pawn sack with, like, e5, I think. You go h6, e5, then it's a bishop e6. It's like, I think it's just bishop e6, and you... Or do you take? How does this line go? There's some takes. I, just, I think it's takes here. And it's like bishop e6 or something is what Fabiano did. Maybe I've got the line wrong, though. I think this is the line. You go here and then you play... I think you take... you take or do you play rook c8? I don't remember. I'm going to go rook c8. I don't remember if this is correct, but I remember very vaguely some Fabian a game against Ariane Tari and something exactly like this. Maybe it was takes in Rook D8, actually, but whatever. Okay, we don't have time to think. Um, it's also Knight G4 here. I don't. I just don't remember the game. That's the problem. I can't castle. I can take. Just try, I just can't remember the game for the life of me. That's the problem. Why do I feel like it's... I feel like it's Queen C5 for some reason. But I'm down so much time on clock. I just have to move quickly. Like, this is ridiculous. Maybe it was H5, H4 somewhere too. But I'm down like 40 seconds on the clock. That's just not acceptable. Like, you just cannot be down this much time on the clock. So I have to, I have to pick up the speed and think on my opponent's turn, basically. It goes there. I can obviously take. I don't think it's correct. Um, let's I'll just go here and play chess. I'll pretend I've done nothing wrong, basically. I'll pretend I've done nothing wrong, even though I've definitely done something very wrong. I can go h5, maybe there i mean h5 is always a move but i'm just gonna play like rook c8 i'm not worried i'll just go g6 if he ever checks um uh, i guess i'll go g6 i don't like it but i'll do it anyway okay, g4 logical um don't want to play bishop d5 i also don't want to go rook c4 I guess I'll just go here and try to reroute the knight, maybe. I don't even know what I'm doing, though. That's the problem. I actually don't know what I'm doing. So let's go here. Logical. Here. I have to make sure I don't make some huge blunder, basically. There. I'm still worse here, by the way, but I'm not sure how much worse I am. I'm definitely still worse. Here. Time is starting to even out a little bit, though. Trying to think on his time as well, because I can't. Goes Rick D1. I mean, I, do I have Knight B6 here, or do I have to go Knight C5? Um go here and hit the pawn okay I can go b5 maybe hit the bishop as well I feel like there should be a trick here like ah, I feel like there should be a trick ah, I don't see it though ah, I can I can feel it in my bones but I ah, I guess I'll go here I can't spot I feel like there's something maybe I have a five here
It's like there's that song, right? There's that famous song by those, it was a Saren Tegan. Feel it in my bones. Do, 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 in my bones. Let's take, let's take. Okay, now it's game on, because now I can go here in knight f6. It's game on. Put the knight on f6, and I think I have great chance to win here. See what he does. He's low on time as well, which is, it's very important here that I use the time to my advantage. What? What is that? Huh? Wait a second. Wait a second. This looks insane. I hit the bit. Oh, wait, he's got B4? Or no, I've got Rook C8. Wait a second. Okay, slow this down. I got to be careful here. Wait. Knight E4, King F3, Knight E2, King E2. Knight e4, king f3. King f3, check. King e2. King f6. Looks okay. To dodge any tricks here. Knight e6, no threats. Oh, wait, I can't. Uh, I can't move my rook off. Um. I'm gonna go here. I mean, he can check and I take, but this should be winning, I think. Okay, I'm just gonna start pushing P. I think I'm winning, but I don't know. This should just be winning. I mean, I got too much P here. Wait, H2, H2, Knight of two. Yeah, Knight of two, easy. <sighs> Tough game, we got the win. 45, we're up to 45 in a row. I think I was losing that game at some point, but was I ever losing? Yeah. It was plus five for him. Wait, which move? It felt bad, but I couldn't quite spot it. He could play Knight C7 when he played Rook D1. Oh. Oh my gosh. The game was Caruana Tari versus Altibox Norway 2020. Yeah. They got Altron. Oh. Uh, hey, what can they say? It's better to be lucky than good, right? <laughs> it's better to be lucky than good. Yeah, Knight C7, I just resigned the game. Jeez. Whatever, we take them. We take we take the dubs. Very, very lucky though, because I was completely busted that last game. Um, no, nah, let's just, let's just play standard chess. Kramnik actually tweeted. <laughs> yeah. Kramnik accuses I am opponent. Oh, great. Really? Wait, are you, are you serious? I hope you're not serious. Oh no. And we got to be emote mode only. Oh no. Oh no. Um, oh no. Uh, let's play one of these old lines of C4 and Queen E3. Uh oh, I'm going to look it up in a second. Hmm. Voodoo, voodoo. By the way, you know who would love this position with the white pieces is Cagnus Marlson, who's probably watching the stream actually. Yeah, good move. Um, all right, he hasn't played a6, so queen b6 is always a move in this in this line. I forgot. Thank you so much to Max for the prime. Appreciate. It. Actually, I should check it out. Let's see, Kramnik. Did he tweet something? Let's see. Okay, something about h6. I don't see anything. He's seeing go go daddy. What's that mean? Also, when comparing some of Carlson's no, okay, I, I see Turkish stuff, but whatever. We gotta focus on the chess. Okay, it goes e6. Let's go back, I guess. Also, why am I doing this? I'm on a great streak, trying to trying to go for glory, and I'm busy talking about a stupid Kramnik tweet. What's wrong with me? Let's play b3 here. Thank you to Evan for the 30 month reset. Thanks so much to Evan. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go here. Probably I'll play h3 somewhere, but we'll see when and where. I don't really want to waste time going h3, but I probably have to at some point. He'll probably play like 95. Maybe I go 91 even. 
hard to judge, but let's see. Our H3 is a move, Rook D2's move. Um Rook D2 feels kind of wrong, but I'm still gonna play it. Maybe just rook d1. I guard the guard the bishop here. Could have played knight a4 too, maybe. See what he does. It was h5. That looks like a very strange move to me. I don't know why, but it just doesn't feel right. It just feels really weird. It feels like it creates a weakness for no reason. I don't know. Maybe it's not a bad move, but it feels bad. Ah, he probably wants some king h7, bishop h6 silliness. That's what he wants. Okay, so do I take with the queen or the bishop? I don't really know which one to take with. I'll take with the bishop, I guess. It's going to go knight e5, and I'm probably dropping back. Unless he has b5, but I can always take. It's also bishop a3 as well. See what he does. Okay, it's deep in the tank. Goes knight c5. Very reasonable move, actually. Um, bishop b2 is probably the right move. Can go knight b1 or knight e2. Doesn't feel great. I can also go g3 and bishop g2. Hmm. Okay, I don't know what the right move is here. Getting a little bit stuck in the mud. Um, bishop a3, I don't love. I think I'm just going to retreat the bishop. I'm going to try to play this very slow and simply. There he goes rook d7. I expected that. Um, I don't really want to play knight b1, but I think I should just basically trade the bishops and then try to improve my position eventually. And he takes, I take... I'll go back, play like knights. It was e5. Now, that to me felt a little bit extravagant. Maybe it's not. But with these pawns on these squares, maybe it's not wrong, but it feels kind of wrong. I can go knight d5. I mean, I can also play here, but I assume knight d5 should just be correct. Okay, I can go rook d2. b4 is a move. I guess I'll go here. There's knight b6 to fork the rooks. I mean, he gets a knight to d4, so it's not like this is some wonderful dream or something, but still feels like I should be better here. I'm definitely better. Whether it's winning or not is a whole separate question. Whoops, a3, let's take. I mean, h4 looks... Uh, I see his ID. He's going to go rook a7. Um... How do I do this exactly? I don't want to take on a5. I really don't want to play b5. But, you know, it's funny, but I actually think b5 is probably the correct move. Just because if I don't, he's going to trade and go rook a7, rook a1. I think in a blitz game, the knights are much better than anything here. Um, I think I'll play, like, here maybe. It's there. No actual threat, I don't think. But I have to be careful. I'm gonna go here. If G5 I take and go F4 and I should be fine. I mean, this is very, very messy. I'm not actually sure I can win this, to be honest. That's the problem here. Like, maybe I go, like, here? Try to activate the bishop, maybe, but still, I don't know how I'm supposed to win. That's the problem. Okay, it goes rook H8, which I was not expecting. I think it's a very serious mistake, actually. Because now I can always look to sack. Okay. Take six, queen d4 looks good, but it's not winning easily. Um, I'm going to go f4 here. Uh, again, I can take. I don't know if this is right, but I'm going to go for it now. I'm still better, but it's not going to be easy to win this position. Do I have e5 here? No. Uh, let's go here. Um, 
Gotta move. Go here, B7. That's not right. Can't win. It's, it's too risky. <sighs> Was I winning here? He found this really ridiculous queen d4. Queen d4, uh, fudge. Ah, that hurts. Ah, that hurts, queen d4. I was one move away. Yeah, and even b, why did I just go b6 right away? Wait, but, oh, I can just go b7 and sack. Oh, frustrating. I let him get the stupid knight f2 hook. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it evens out, though, because to be fair, the previous game, I was completely lost. Like, that game, I played a great game start to finish, but the previous one, I was completely lost. So